Hello there, mortals. I'm Jensen. Welcome back to Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. It's lit. It's, we're now actually at the Dragon's Dogma part of the game. Like, the, we've beaten the, the dragon in the previous episode, and uh, we did it with uh, quite literally no armor and one of the, I would say, crappest weapons in the game, honestly, the Caged Fury, which only does good damage if you've already done a substantial amount of damage. Man, there's a Chimera on the beach already. My god! So, uh, with the dragon dead, dragon's dogma being, like, um, the death of the dragon. So, uh, the game is literally named after what we did in the, in the last episode, which is to kill the dragon. This right here is the dragon's dogma, right here. So, now that we have uh, reached the dragon's dogma itself, we have monsters spawning all over the place that uh, ordinarily would not be have spawning here. Off? And also, uh, while it's fresh on my mind, uh, we'll get everybody to come here real close here and we'll grab... <laughs> Very Gemma well. right here, uh, because she was quite frankly way. the worthless, most useless companion. Is a troubling foe. I was hoping that would kill her, to be honest. All right, uh, do we want to go down there and face this Chimera, like straight off rip? Maybe? Maybe we do? Maybe we want to give ourselves a little bit of holy? A little bit of, little bit of necromancy? Maybe we want to, uh... Okay, looks like we're fighting it. <laughs> Don't have a choice. Let's give ourselves holy affinity. I think it's actually coming after us now. It's probably not the best. Uh, let's... See if it is aggroed on us first. Yep, there it is. It's casting magic. Uh-oh, that's not good. Also, Holy did next to no damage. So the Cage of Fury, probably not the best thing to have out at this point. Whoa, okay. Oh, I thought it was actually going to attack us, these goblins right here, but they did not. Let's go ahead and fire off a high bolide, because I think that'd be a really, really useful thing to have in the fight right here, right? Okay, that looks like the the goat's head of the Chimera. I don't know if it's a Gore Chimera or not. I suppose we need to get closer to see, right? I think it's Gore Chimera. I think it's Gore. Uh, Scarby is dead. That's not good. So, Bolite should increase our damage potential, which should increase our damage potential. Uh, it is, it's literally a scaling kind of thing. All right, I got a... My God, I'm getting 2,000 HP per rip as well. Let's try for Bolite again. That was really good. I think this is a Gore Chimera as well, because we're not doing a huge amount of damage, and that goat is actually terrifying. It's got red eyes. The go the Chimera itself is actually black. And usually I wouldn't have a problem... Oh, we just missed out on the, um, the high Bolite thing. Hello! Hello, Gobbles! No! Okay, we lost all of our damage potential because that one Goblin uh, killed... Oh, my God, seriously? Oh, that sucks so bad! I cannot believe that. I literally cannot believe that. Oh, and it took us ages to die as well, so we have to retry sooner. So, we still have no armor, by the way. We have no health. We have nothing. We're basically still going through on essentially what is a no armor run, but with fashion. We kind of bought these uh, armor sets of the Black Cat. They don't offer any protection whatsoever, but they do look good, which is why I chose them. Now... Before we go into this fight, I know that Holy isn't really doing a hell of a lot. Good, we got one of those. Let's actually give ourselves a high necromancy and we'll conserve our stamina just a little bit better so that we can kind of cast a bunch of um, magic against this Gore Chimera. Oh, never mind, it's aggroed against us. Go! Go, everybody! If it hits me once I die, you literally have to defend me. Okay, let's go ahead and cast this here necromancy and we'll cancel the last phase of this. Uh, little spell casting. All right, so this should be generating uh, damage potential for us. I don't know how useful it's going to be necessarily, but we can kind of like come up here and cower, I suppose. In fact, we could even maybe pick up this rock and then throw it just over here. Oh, nice! I hit that. It did nothing. It literally did nothing. Okay, now that we have a little bit more damage potential, let's go ahead and cast Bold Light because Necromancy. What are you doing? Necro Necromancy is not particularly powerful, but it is really, really uh, good at generating damage potential. Okay, we got two dead companions. We need to use a Harspid Source before we kind of like jump away, which we're gonna have to be really quick on because he's running and we, oh my God, we, we lived. Okay, we're about to take another hit. Let's use a Silverous Brew because it restores our health almost fully. And we're probably also gonna have to use another Harspid Juice just to get the last of that in there. Okay, good. We survived that uh, series of attacks. Bolide is actually carrying for us. Let's go ahead and just jump off here. We're still conserving our stamina a little bit. All right, Scarby is down. I think that thing actually one-hit all of uh, our pawns. Okay, it's down. Good. Let's try for a, whole, a high Bolide while it's down again. Because uh, it's weak to fire. We want to absolutely annihilate its health with Bolide if we can. 
All right, I think Jemma, Jemma is absolutely crapping the bed, unfortunately. I think this might kill us right here. Oh, it missed. Okay, bowl light. And now let's uh, use a husband's juice. We can get some more stamina because it really, it harms us greatly to be casting this over and over again. Did I just lose all of my damage potential because it screamed? Yes, I know that. Use fire. Everyone use fire. Wow, bowl light, one more. One more. Okay, fine. I'll just use magic. Done. Woo. Okay, we got the Gore Chimera. Excellent. We can start looting all of its goodies. And now we've got the luxury of taking on all of those goblins that were up topside separately from this bad boy right here. Uh, you guys want to maybe, I don't know, loot? Okay, I'll do it. Fine. We probably should have emptied our inventory before we left as well. What else we got? Nothing. Uh, why don't we empty our inventory when we are up at the uh, barracks over there? That's probably a better idea, honestly. Now, I do know that there are goblins up here, and they are very, very annoying to fight. In fact, no, not Bolite here. Let's actually use Necromancy. Let's get a Necromancy up, because it is a really good skill. It kind of, like, knocks enemies up into the sky, which is a great utility to not be hit by. Fire, yeah, but it's defending every attack, guys. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it's weak against if it's defending. Okay, so that's going to fire off a Necromancy, which should shoot it off into the sky. Good. It's kind of doing a little bit of stun anyway. Perfect. Great. Nice. Let's two of them down. Ooh, okay. Even Blade Beast. Don't know what that is. Okay, we've got a Hobgoblin here. He's likely going to one-hit us if we let him attack us. Uh, let's go ahead and start firing at him. There's damage potential. Oh, actually, let's take a look at our gear and see if we can see what the damage is with the damage potential. It is... exactly the same. Oh, no, it starts at 281, and then it scales up to 724. That sucks. We're changing it. We're using the Dragon's Wit now. So we should be able to do uh, something called damage at this point. Oh, yes, that is nice. I'm running away from that. Not, not getting hit by that. Stop! What? Oh, are you taking the piss? Come off it! He didn't even hit me. He didn't even hit me. But uh, apparently the um, giant area of effect under his sword got Val. As well as me. Okay, that sucks. We're going to have to uh, go ahead and re-equip the... Oh, Godsbane. That's also awesome. We're going to go ahead and equip that weapon again so we can actually deal... A I don't give it. Use it! Idiot. That's one thing I really liked about Dragon's Dogma 2, actually. In Dragon's Dogma 2, you can equip all of your gear from just the kind of, like, inspection screen. We're getting rid of Gemma as well, by the way. She sucks ass. She is actually a crap companion. I don't know what the hell the guy was thinking when, when he built her, or she built her. Likely he. Now, let's be honest. This game is probably built for boys more so than girls. All right. Let's go ahead and do a search. We probably need to... We could probably actually start using Jax at this point. Be quite fair. Gemma sucked. Let's just get Is rid of her flat out. Yeah, go away. Uh, you were literally terrible. You can have... I don't know. I'm a big tipper. You can have this... Um, uh, oh, I don't know. What should I give her? I'll give her a... I'll give her a nut. I'll, I'll give her a huge nut. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, appearance rating, pretty good. That's why I hired her. Battle rating, useless. Uh, healthiness, useless. Here you go. Enjoy. No comments. Literally, why would I write a comment? I don't know who's going to receive this, but I hope they've got a sense of humor. Because <laughs> quite frankly, he doesn't know how to build a character to save his ass. Uh, Jack's only level 98, which is kind of funny. There's Elsa here. I don't know who the hell this is. Yes, hi. I see you there. She's enormous too. Uh, there's only two-handed swordsmen here. They are worthless. So let's not use the... Actually, there is one guy with a sword and board right here. I guess we're in the same gear as Jack's. More or less, actually. Let's use Jax. Yes, sir, isn't. He's got some really, really quirky uh, perks. If no one saw the last uh, episode, essentially what goes with Jax is he's a blink strike nuke. And generally, like, pawns will have one voice, right? But with Jax's case, that's not the case whatsoever. There was a bug when I was playing on my main account with Jax. He had a save corruption and he was uploaded to the server, but there was also... Another character that I had to create because the save was corrupted, which also uploaded to the server, and they kind of blended together. So every now and then he'll say something in a weird, deep voice, because oh, that was the um, the I pitch do? that I had. Let's will. go ahead and deposit everything in our pocket that we don't actually want. Panacea is real good. 
Liquid vim uh, could be handy. Purifying brew, sure. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we'll get rid of just everything that's not just immediately useful. Uh, we'll get rid of draconian strategy. Uh, don't need flask of water. Don't need hydra. Don't need dragon spit. We'll keep this here, God's bane. In fact, actually, let's put these three things here away, and then we'll get them back out of our storage. So that the God's bane is f no. Yeah, we want the God's bane first, actually. Okay, we do have the Worm King's Ring. We're still just kind of, like, casting really, really slow. Cage Fury can go in there. Uh, the Leather Circlet can go in there. Why do I even keep that? Golden Belt, Archer's Quillets can go in there. Arms, don't care. Legs, don't care. Bloke's Direwolf Cape can go in there. Uh, okay, so let's will. go ahead and withdraw in the order that we want them in. So we want some of these, not the materials, tools. We want some tools, don't we? Pressing the wrong button right there. So, God's Bane first. Yep, God's Bane first. The Eternal Fairy Stone second. Pickaxe third. Just the one. Excellent. Uh, all of that Actually, is good there. We'll go ahead and we'll empty out Scarby's inventory as well because she is a literal hoarder. She doesn't even need Fairy Stones. I don't know why she's picking these up. Uh, what have we got? A lot of materials, actually. Sorry, I got a real itchy nose. Uh, and in the special, nothing other. She's got an ancient scroll. I don't, I didn't know she could read. She's got a lance, and sword, useless, Melorian helm, yucky. Uh, arms, she's got some Monomi braces. Those were from the Black Cat. She's also got Emissary Greaves. Those are also from the Black Cat. Uh, what about Val? She's probably got a bunch of stuff on her. She has nothing on her. Okay. As you will. That's good to know. I feel like I've got something on my nose, but I don't know. I don't think so. No, I definitely not. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and change the equipment. F what do you mean new? What have I got that's new in here? What is this? A personal outfit. Okay, sweet. So now we have some better gear. I think that maybe. What is this? Tattered mantle? What does this look like? Oh, it looks like absolute garbage. I hate it. Mmm. And it's really bad in terms of, like, um, uh, stats. Okie. Actually, let's Actually, go ahead we'll... and deposit the thing we just decided that we don't want to wear. Actually, will. we kind of want to change our equipment again, don't we? Down to torso. What are we holding? What are we holding? Uh, we want to use this hard leather plate, don't we? And the abyssal outfit, I actually think, should be... Scarby's next major upgrade, right? Because she's kind of not using a lot. What has she got? She's got the dragon leather vest. Uh, the abyssal armor outfit is actually significantly better. Let's give that to her. Nice. All right. Wonderful. You will. Uh, I'll go back and deposit whatever I just picked up. It was nothing good. What can I do you for? Nothing. Nothing, we are, uh, oh, actually, there was one other thing that I wanted to take a look at for Scarby. It was some leggings, or some archer's coolets, or something like that. Where are they? Or maybe they were... Who are they? Weren't they pants? Am I crazy? No, those are clogs. Archer's coilettes. Where are they? There's a flame skirt here that she's wearing. It's actually pretty powerful. Does Funko still have it on him? Blue long kilt, got an hose in. Oh, maybe they just can't As use it. Oh, well, can I do that's fine. Take we'll keep. Now. Oh, I, I will take care, my dude. Uh, we are very light now. We'll take a bunch of these quests, because there's probably some good ones. Adara wants to go to the Shadow Fort. Defeat three golems. I'm definitely going to be accepting that one. Excellent. Now let's carry on outwards and upwards. We can probably take out that Chimera real fast now. Shut up, Marthena. I've already got a beloved. It was a noble in the courts. All right, Gore Chimera first. I think it's pretty safe to say, right? Been dispatched. So why has the sky turned dark? There you go. Weird, like, deep voice, right? That's super strange. That wasn't the voice that he had. It was like, hello, Arisen. Not, the sky has turned dark. It's so weird. I don't think I've ever seen another character with that. It's, it's only Jax. I'm not even playing on that uh, Steam account, so it's not like a local thing either. Because you can't cite two, um, you can't cite two save files at once. The, the, the game just doesn't work like that. That's one. Okay, we don't actually need damage potential. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just start firing away, and we'll hope to kind of, like, take him out. Good. So, we probably actually want to get rid of necromancy at this point, simply because it 
It's not really doing anything for us now. All right, I'm gonna try for a bowl light. Never mind this little guy with the shields aggroed on me. Never mind, Jax is deciding to uh, do the blink strike. He explode. Okay, let's try for bowl light. Just a little one, not a big one. Is he looking at me? He's gonna throw something. Okay, he was actually about to throw that at me. I'm glad I looked at him. Good, got him out of the way. Jax is absolutely nailing these guys. They grow frenzied. Are they? Okay, let's try and use magic against this guy. And he's down. Nice. Everyone start looting. Oh, so you're right. Okay, let's take him out. Probably want to take a look at Scarby's gear as well, because it's not amazing. Jax literally just sniped the kill from me as well. Uh, let's go ahead and save, because we are about to fight the Gore Chimera anyway. They have really good resources, so we want to kill as many of them as we possibly can. All right, good. Also, if anybody's wondering about the chat up in the corner, uh, somebody just deleted their YouTube account out of frustration, which is sad, but it happens. They were just coming over to say goodbye. It's a real shame, actually. I don't think I've had a bad experience on YouTube since I started streaming on here, but such is life. Like, there's been a couple of dickheads come over and, you know, come and say rude things on stream, but I wouldn't necessarily say that they were... Well, maybe they weren't bad people, but... Uh, like, uh, they weren't bad, bad people. All right, guys. Well. Go and engage with that Gore Chimera. Or not. Or you could wait until it's close. Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna cast this and hope that it reaches. Nope. Okay, so that was a waste of a cast. Uh, we're pretty... Oh, throw drops. Thank you very much. I could've used those a week ago when I was sick. Have a look at that line in the line. Oh! Maybe okay, uh, a couple of them hit, I think. Go! Go, everybody! Press your advantage. Oh, it's wet now. Great. We knocked it into the sea. What the hell are you guys doing? Go and fight the monster! Idiots! Cease! Cease your idiocy! Okay, cast. And now we've got no stamina, so we probably want to go here. Oh, we've got nothing anyway. If I have to take a hit, I will. Realistically, a pawn actually does come and get us up pretty frequently. Oh, those bolts are missing like crazy now. Never mind, that one struck. Okay, maybe Maelstrom is the way? Whoop, that was close. Okay, we want to get away from that as fast as possible. Perfect. I am going to do my best. Thank you, Val. Thank you for sandbagging my uh, transit up here. Go! Okay, good. Jax is uh, latched onto him, which is perfect. I'm dead. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. That's fine. We should probably actually be playing as Magic Archer by this point, to be quite honest. Like, at, at this point, just... Let's do that. Let's go for Magic Archer. Because it's got better balanced uh, step climbing than the Sorcerer. Which we have played as for quite a while. Like, the magic attack is going to be quite high by this point comparative to uh, any other class. But the magic archer it increases the stamina really, really quickly. And that seems to be our main choke point at this, at this juncture. So we'll go ahead and we'll just change our class. It's a shame, though, because we don't really have access to a decent magic archer. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Spellbow, I think. Spellbow? Maybe. Uh, we can't actually change our vocation yet. Okay, so don't really care about that too much. We're just going to go ahead and use a Fairy Stone to go up to Grand Sorin because we don't have a choice. Grand Sorin, right here, done. Okay, we're not going to waste our time fighting that same Gore Chimera that we just spent ages fighting and killing twice. Like, it doesn't make sense to just keep doing it over and over again when there is a better way of doing something. What's that? This? Hello there, sir, what's up? Well met, Arisen. We've been awaiting your return. What's up with the blank... Kill us, steer, Sir Gorwin. Waste no time on us, sir. The Duke awaits. I fear for the others in the castle besides. Though tis small mercy to be spared only to face this world. Perhaps we'll all be wishing the Earth devoured us here long. Yep, that is actually true. I'll show you why. Well met, Arisen. Waste no time. Wait, are you taking the piss? Let me in the guild. What are you doing? Don't speak to me. <laughs> what an asshole. So, Aslam is now down here. He is no longer in the... Here we all cower with our heads to the sky, waiting for death to come on dragon's wings, and the damn ground falls out from under us. The Makers played us all for fools this time. <laughs> and now we... <sighs> There's not to do but laugh. 
Have your pick. Any you like. Yeah. So he used to manage the inn, and now he can't manage the inn what because the be inn, today? spoilers, does not Any anymore like. exist. Let's change our vocation. I don't think we'll go for Mystic Knights. Uh, it's it's kind of nice, but it's not a good class. I, I This is a hot take, by the way. A lot of people like to think that the Mystic Knight is a really good class, but I think it's kind of crap. We could probably do with not using the kind of, like, the uh, single... We've already maxed out Sorceress. We've got the uh, kind of like augments that we want. Let's just use Magic Archer. Yes, we'll use Magic Archer for a while. If we have to go to Mystic Knight for the health buffs, we'll do it. We have to go to Assassin, we'll do it. But again, like, it's not terribly important. Actually, you know what? Let's not go for Mystic Archer just yet. Let's instead go for assassin because even though no we'll be doing physical damage which we don't actually want to do in the first place right let's go ahead and get out of here i want to change my equipment because we're completely naked manage sword items change equipment yes please all right so what have we got we don't have any of the weapons that we want but we do have access to the major staffs which are pretty good retrospectively oh apparently we can also use these daggers which is pretty cool for a magic archer I don't think we will. I think we'll just use the Crimson Glare for now, because it's in our back pocket. We'll probably end up getting some new weapons from Caxton up, up top anyway. We'll use the Tower of Enlightenment, unless we can use the Assassin's Mask. No, we cannot. It sucks. Hard leather plate, sure. Ancient robe, sure. What else we got? We got some arms. The Ancient Bangles, we'll use those, sure. Iron braces, they, they look like ass as well. The Tiger's Banger, no. We've got the Lion's Spine, which looks ridiculous on our character. What else we got? We got Monomi Braces, which also look ridiculous, and we got the Jade Bangles, which look revolting. Let's not use any of that. We'll just use the Cotton Hosen, we'll use the Ancient Greaves. Actually, we could probably go to the Half Chain Hosen, or just like Chain Hosen. Chain Mail Skirt, could, could use that instead. Maybe. Half Chain Hosen. Emissary Greaves. I don't know we could wear that. Uh, but they all kind of suck, don't they? Alright, let's go ahead and equip our Feral Cape. We could probably just use a proper cape at this point. Like, this one's nice and purple. This is the tattered mantle. It definitely gives the illusion uh, that we're kind of like trying to go for. Uh, we're going to equip these baleful nails because they actually are very, very potent. What else we got? Cleansing earring? No. Ring of purpure? Restless earring? Faithful earring? No. Ring of azure? No. I don't even know what they do. We want something that gives us resistance to sleep, actually. Oh, this one does that. The restless earring. Perfect. Okay, so sleep is really annoying in post-game because uh, it's it be a death today? sentence. As soon as you die, you're done. Okay, we'll deposit the weapons that we have on us because we have this dragon's wit right here. And we also have this here, feral cake. Will it be to have your pick. Okay, like. let's go ahead and learn some today? skills because we're going to need to now. Fighting wind, sunburst. No, we don't care about the daggers. We want frazzle and levin, sure. We also want the Seeker Bolt because it is OP as hell. We also want... We don't want those core skills. We don't want any of these. We want to change our enabled skills, yes, so that we can go into... Oh my god, we got Comestion! Oh, Excellent. Uh, we probably don't want Angler if that's the case. We probably want to replace that with Frazzle. What else we got? Uh, we've got the Magic Bow, which can have the Seeker Bolt here. Probably not going to use the Threefold Bolt much. We probably also want to change some of these, right? Greatly augments your magic. Definitely want that. Diminishes the time required to intone any spell. Yes, we want that. Perpetuation causes enchantments to persist for a longer period of time. That's useless now because we actually don't uh, care about that whatsoever. We actually instead want some other little skills. Awareness is probably good for now. We're not going to be using enchantments whatsoever. They're actually annoying for a, for a spell bow. Okay, let's come up here. And then we'll see what all the fuss is about, about kind of like... Yes, Jax, and you already know this. Damn, she got some bit of black gear. Look at this girl, pretty. Holy hell. At level 59. Oh, hello. That's suspicious. That's really suspicious. Hello. When can you purify gear? Hold up, I'm going to call this guy out, whoever he is. So what she's got right there is a uh, bit of black gear level three. So what she has is bit of black uh, armor cursed. So you you get the cursed stuff right. Level three, yeah. So uh, she's got level three. 
What does she have? She doesn't have any of these. Near the helm, traitor's armor, sin is gauntlets, betrayer's gauntlets. Hellfire! She is wearing a full set of Hellfire. That's what she's wearing right here. Yes, Arisen. Let's view details. Let's make sure about this. What are you wearing? Devil's Nail. Hellfire, 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 Hellfire. She's, she's, she's got three gold rarity Hellfire Greaves. Now, you can't actually purify and use anything until you hit level... What level do you have to be? It is... Yeah, it also requires 25,000 Rift Crystals, which is really expensive. So I'm kind of suspicious that since she hasn't hit level 60, that she shouldn't actually have any of this armor. I think it was cheated in. Where is it? The armor cap. There is an armor cap for this. Level 3. A requirement. Okay. Where is it? What's the best way? No. A bit of black weapon? No. Minimum level requirement of 51. So this is really suspicious. I would probably say that this person cheated in the game. And the reason I brought it up uh, in such a way is because I know that they cheated. What the hell is this? I'm, this isn't the... I'm using Windows 10. What the hell is this window? Oh my god. My computer just crashed. Oh no. Seriously? No, it hasn't crashed. It's the game. What the hell is going on here? Okay, can't fire up Task Manager either. What the hell? Okay, I think the game has crashed. Oh no, here it is. Okay, here we go, Kitty. So, who cheated? Who cheated? Who is this? Who owns this? Creator. Okay. Creator's name is Lolly. Okay, so they're an incel. Um, level 59, Magic Archer. Playtime 61 hours. That is super sus. That is really, really suspicious. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was all cheated in. I'm also saying that because no one ever creates a warrior and then makes them as short as possible because that's the worst kind of warrior you can have. You want a warrior that can kind of like take hits and height does matter. So does weight. Height and weight both matter. Strength is 343 minus the equipment that they're using, which is endgame equipment. The hell is going on with my desktop? Stop doing that. Okay. Knockdown power. Not amazing. Stagger power. Not amazing. Right. This is a cheat. This is definitely a cheat. Devil's Nail is real hard to roll for as well. Yes, there isn't. It literally takes like hundreds of, of pieces of gear to purify to actually get the things you need. And I know if you go onto the wiki and say, hey, there is a percentage chance and you can just close the game and change your class and that'll change what you roll. But there's only so many things that that one piece of class can actually give you. Like a bit of black weapon, there's only three possibilities that it'll actually give you uh, depending on what class you have. So we're actually about to see the end game right here. Check this out. This hole. This gigantic hole right here was done by us. What the hell is this guy doing? Brent? You defeated the dragon? Yes. Yes. Huzzah for you, good sir. All right, thanks for that. Uh, this giant hole right here. This is the Everfall. That was the thing under the Pawn Guild that we did in kind of like, I don't know, the fifth episode. The idols are said to come in bear. Okay, he's still worried about things, which is a little bit of a shame. Now, we've got end game stuff that we can buy right here, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and try and buy myself a decent, uh, what is it called? What are they called? I think they're just like magic bows or something like that. Here they are. So we've got the Herald Telix set right here. It's 200 grand, which is literally a drop in the bucket for us. Let's go ahead and use this. And also we'll see if there's a better, uh, yeah, unfettered claw. We can definitely use that as well. Good. Done. Now, we can also take a look at our gear, too. We can take a look at our gear. Let's equip this, and we'll also equip this one. That we can buy, because there's a lot of stuff that we can now buy that wasn't readily available in the initial game. Like, the Crown Hood's pretty good. What else we got? Uh, Lion Lord's Helm, also pretty good. 
Apparently it's worse than the uh, kid band we have. Two scraps of leather, apparently better than what we've got. Except for there's not like any under things that we can wear. Chainmail, hard leather plate. That's probably actually better, right? Trooper outfit, worthless to us. Uh, silver chest plate, those are pretty good. Yeah, we'll actually go for a silver chest plate. Just in case we get to the chance where we can actually uh, dragon forge it, that's probably going to be a better idea. Because what we are currently using is the hard leather plate, which is just worse in every way. What else we got? Uh, we got a bunch of these gloves here. Some iron mannequin, Jesus, why would we use that? Master's braces, darkened gloves. Uh, probably don't want to use any of those. What about leggings? There's probably a few leggings here. Silver hosen, we can use that too. Have a nice little bougie touch to our to our feet. What else we got? Leather ochre? Uh, not particularly useful. Okay, we're just going to use the silver hosen, and of course we are going to equip it. I do like the silver hosen. It looks pretty good. It's very shiny. It's not Dragonforge, but of course it is pretty nice looking. Got the knight's mantle. Looks awful. Got the scarlet cape. Uh, doesn't look amazing. Adventurer's cloak. Doesn't look great. Pauldrons. I don't think that is a cape. I think it's literally just a couple of pauldrons. It is. It's a couple of pauldrons. And we've also got no rings. What about Scarby? She's got some pretty big legs that are currently exposed. What else we got? Silver hosen? That's actually better than what she's wearing. Although I don't know what she's wearing, to be quite honest. Okay, the leather ochre she could probably do with. Or nibble courses? Weezes? Actually, who knows? We'll just keep what we've got right now. And uh, we can kind of get, like, some gear from the Everfall. But first, what we want to do is go into the... Oh, my God. I'm not sure if I like the, the set out for this. Okay, let's go ahead and try and, like, change up our equipment. Because I'm pretty sure I've got them in the wrong slots. Uh, unequip. And equip. Is that better? No. What the hell? <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change around the keyboard bindings. It was not under there. Okay, keyboard and mouse. Uh, what are we looking at? So, primary skill set. We actually want to change this to uh, R. And yes, I want to reassign this one to here. That should be beautiful. That's not what I said. Okay, that's better. That's that's definitely what I said. We'll swap those around so that I can actually use my mouse to aim my bow instead of having to use a keyboard command for it, which is just stupid. Excellent, safe, successful, and we are overpowered. Great. All right, let's come on through here, and we'll kind of uh, polish off the story, I suppose. Because there is a little bit more story that we can kind of gather from where we are, and I really like having a staff just so we can kind of, like... Do this, the levitate skill, which is awesome. It is a fantastic skill, no matter where you are in the game. It's just navigation. We'll come up here, and we will go and have a chat with the Duke, who, if we remember, was probably the worst victim of the dragon dying, because he lost all of his wealth, he lost all of his health. And he's got no princess. We stole his girl. We also stole his financial advisor, which is hilarious. Sucks to be the Duke. All right. Hello, sir. Pardon me. I'm just going to shove you out of the way real quick. Uh, let's go up here, and he should be in his solar. I think. He sh I think he's in his solar. We'll come on through here, and in this room here we go. The Duke Solar. Here we go. You. You met with the dragon. Of course. You should have seen what happened next. It took an hour and a half. Or longer. And don't think for a minute. I don't know what you did then. I. I of all men. How did we miss that? Did we step on him? Could fell that beast. What about these? No. You took the dragon's 
bargain. Yeah, that's that's it. You conspired with it to wither me and usurp my seat as Duke. Sure. But you'll not be quit of me <sighs> so easily. It's just sad, really. This guy was always a greedy piece of garbage. Come, I would yet rule this land. Poor guy. I knew neither age nor the sting of death while the dragon yet drew breath. I'm too short. I'm <laughs> way too short for him to hit me. You covetous wretch. You wanted eternal life for your own and my title once more. You the dragon. Okay, maybe he hits hard. Maybe he does it. Let's have a let's have a meal. Let's have some. Uh, let's have a nothing. Let's not have anything. That's not. Yeah, he doesn't know that's what happened. Honestly, if only his financial advisor were here, because his financial advisor saw literally everything. But this guy just assumes because that's what he did. He was a piece of garbage who just kind of like took things. Oh well, sucks to be him. Oh, really? Huh. Excuse me, sir. Just gonna come around here. All right. Oh, well. <laughs> Sucks to be him, I suppose. Uh, let's take him out with the uh, new magic archer spells that we have. Actually, we could probably use this as a kind of like an advantage, right? We could probably... I don't know, cast a spell of some sort? Maybe this one? Let's see what this one does. See if it's any good. It is doing damage. Like, I don't know if that's a good amount of I think that's crap. Oh, we've frozen him. Okay, we had to cancel that one. We didn't have a choice. What about this other one? Uh, oh, we know what Levin does. Okay, let's strike him down with some lightning. Sorry, buddy, old pal. It's not your day. That's just sad. That's really sad. Loading into a cutscene. Now we kind of drew a, a bit of a a bit of a short straw here. Unfortunately, we didn't exactly get the good ending here. The good ending would have actually been, hey, let's save everyone. Let's give them the court advisor. What? Your grace? What devilry is at work here? Pathetic. Devilry indeed. And high treason. Oh, yes. Brigand has joined a, a covenant with the dragon and struck me with a curse. Sad. He was, he's literally a parasite from the dragon's power. He would tell you the beast is dead. Lies. Oh. He has become its minion, spreading evil upon this land as upon its ruler. Just look upon the hellish wall that gapes where once our city stood. I love how he's scapegoating us. Tell me, this is not the work of the dragon's dark magic. <laughs> Seize this traitor at once. So this is why I was saying initially that there's not really any point in ever getting attached to the characters in this game. Because the end game is literally to uh, not get attached to them. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm slipping to the side. Excuse him up. Because they could one hit us. <laughs> the Duke actually did do a lot of damage to us. Free burp. You guys can keep that one too. I don't want it. Hello, sir. Did you hear that? You got good ears. Wish I had good ears. Okay. So what we can do is kind of like come over here, by the way, and then we come up this little rampart, and then we're good. All right, I'm casting Seeker Bolt. Let's see if it kills anyone. Oh, I didn't fire it for some reason. Oh, thank you. I can hear again. 
Okay, I killed one of them, 125 experience. So, there's actually a bit of an exploit that I found with this game where you just leave. <laughs> you can leave this game on overnight. None of them can hit you up here. And your pawns will not only kill everyone in the area over and over again because they infinitely respawn. But they drop uh, very useful things for banners called... What are they called? They're called... Uh, sorry. The quests. They drop useful things for quests. Some quests require you to have like a hundred banners and these guys drop them. So that is quite literally the best way of farming them up. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to leave this on overnight and then stream that. That'd be super stupid. All right, good. I know it really depends on uh, what everybody wants to see, but I highly doubt you guys want to see that. So let's go ahead and go back into the options because I think there was actually a reason that I kind of had these swapped around. Where is it? Uh, this one right here, secondary skill set. Let's set that to R. Uh, yes, I want to resign this one to mouse button. There we go. Good. Let's save that. Maybe that works better. Because I think we have to use... I think we have to use bow mode, which is a little bit fiddly to do on keyboard and mouse, but it is what it is. All right, good. Let's try a threefold bolt. See what happens. Okay, I forgot how to actually use it. We gotta click the button again. Okay, gotcha. I killed everything. <laughs> oh my god. Scarby is uh, virtually useless with her weapons. Maybe we wanna upgrade her gear. Okay, good. Let's come over here. I'm kind of done. I'm, I'm done fighting them, and I'm I'm probably actually a little bit allergic to uh, fighting all of those uh, infinitely respawning guards, especially that one with the pink health bar above his HP. You piss off. <laughs> Could you guys just piss off? There's a chest right here and I want to loot it. Seeker's token, baby. Thank you very much. And this is why I am mage. Always. I'm always mage because of that skill. <laughs> always. Always mage. Okay, good. There's some coins right here. I'll take those. I bet the person who dropped it maybe fell off the ledge. Wow, look at you. It's got some solar armor. Yes! Hello there, DJ. How are we today? I caught one? Yes, yeah, pretty impressive. All right, here we go. Now the introduction to the gigantic hole that I just showcased. The butthole of the world. Also, that's not how you hold a shield. You don't just like strap the wrist, the uh, links across your wrist. You gotta actually hold it with your hands. What could it be? Oh, it's a billion harpies. Rising from the butthole of the world. Thank you, Harpies. I joined the instant stream. Yeah, you got here. Back from this world's utmost depth. Cool. The dragon caused this, by the way. The dragon basically... The, what the dragon's pure existence was, was to create a barrier between the real world and what we are looking at right here which is the path to godhood. So this is called the Everfall. It's basically a, uh, an ever-turning series of universes. You drop into the hole, and when you reach the bottom, you drop into another universe. Very cool. Very, very cool concept. Oh, God, he looks so stupid. <laughs> oh, no! He fell down. What an idiot. He fell off the ledge. Good, so... This is what I would consider to be the game itself. We stand at the threshold to truth and all beyond it. Yes, thanks, uh, there, Jax. So what we need to do now is we need to basically hoard an in-game resource called Wake Stones. And when you have one in your pocket, they kind of allow you to... Oh, damn it, we missed it. They kind of allow you to resurrect as long as it's actually in your inventory. But if you don't have it, obviously you die and you have to revert to another save. Uh, we don't want to go down here just yet, though. We want to kind of, like, go to this edge over here. And we want to try and... Maybe here, I would say. This is, I think, the Undercroft to the Pawn Guild. It's P-A-W-N. YouTube um, Analytics. Okay, good. We've got our short-ass wide man down here. This is, I think, if the quest. If you my call, prove now your worth. Okay. Show that you've the strength to break the yoke that binds you. That's not yoke as in eggs. Oh, hello. What's your name? I see one of your breasts is well armored. I would ask aught of you, Arisen. Okay, sure. Please, take this. 
What's up with your mouth movements? My mistress gathered their like as she sought her way through the depths. She died as she was done. If you would take up her task, pray bring them here to me. I trust that you will see my mistress' will done. I can do that. Okay, so, this is another Hello. pawn, and this is kind of where we start finding out that every single pawn in the universe has an know. arisen, which is really cool. And they kind of, like, they go exploring in other universes when their arisen is not around to need them. Hello there, sir. Arisen. Yes. The dying breath, my mistress bade me stay here. And so this pawn lingers, that the meager offerings I've collected may serve future arisen on their path. Isn't that cool? Choose that is so cool. Will, sir. Okay, I will buy things from you, my dude. Hope you sell weapons. He sells nothing. Sounds golden wristbands. Wow, those are bougie. Uh, we're not going to use them, though, because they actually suck. What have you got? Have you got anything useful? The Sundering Spear Tome? Uh, oh my god. Is this, a, is this a free season cast? They're pretty heavy, though, actually. Maybe we don't want to do that. All right. I don't think will. so. I am ever at your... All right, good. Uh, so now that we've done that, I think that if we go in through this door, we can kind of like go into the Everfall proper and then come out at the city. And we do need to go to the city. We need to come out at Caxton's area. Yeah, this is definitely definitely the Pawn Guild. So we come up here. We'll be in a really good place now. We've essentially beaten the campaign and we're into the actual game now. Okay, from a different sky. These are all Badge of Vows things. These are, uh, I don't think we'll go after them. They were kind of like a collectible quest added in the game, but they don't give you waypoint points unless you've actually finished the quest already in a, in a previous playthrough. Right. Okay. Akima's over there. Uh, let's take a look at the billboard. It has no quests. Good to know. Let's go back up to Caxton and we'll go and fill out Scarby's inventory with something a little less crap than what she's got. Because what she has is not doing damage. Ooh. That little princess there has some uh, icy daggers. That's actually... Probably, ideally, what we want on Scarby. All right, good. Jackson's armory. The idols are set to come in. I don't care what he has to say. The master works wrong. all. You can't go wrong. Let's go ahead and take a look at the torso here to get that big new icon off of the area. Done. Okay, let's take a look at Scarby. Is there any, like, armor that we could get here that's a bit better? Actually, yes, there are so many pieces of armor that are better. I don't like this red leather armor, how it looks. But I also really, really like the uh, Rex Lion padding and its damage capabilities. Well, damage reductions. Okay, let's go for the Rex Lion padding. And we're also going to change our equipment while we remember that it's actually in our inventory right here. Dragon Leather Vest? No, thank you. Rex Lion padding, yes, please. Now let's go for weapons for Scarby. So she needs a better bow. Because the bow she has actually sucks ass. And we're also going to give her the Chilling Razors, because obviously those are the ones with the ice enchantment on them. The permanent ice enchantment. That's going to freeze enemies every now and then. Uh, we'll get her the Noble Limbs, I think. The bow. It's going to be 430 buckery boos, but I think that that is definitely going to be worth it. Go into her weapons, and we'll equip these here daggers, and also this here bow. We've literally just doubled her damage, by the way. That is insane. Okay. So now we want to go back down to Asalam. Asalam Malaikum. And we want to uh, say, hello there, sir. I have things for you to hold. Because I don't want to hold them myself. Ooh, nice weaponry. It's got some good weapons. Uh, some of the better black uh, uh, level 2 stuff. Okay, good. Now we want to manage stored items. We want to deposit. Not Funko stuff. We want to deposit Scarby's stuff. What's this? Thundering Spear? Probably not useful. Go ahead and just uh, put those materials away. And also, these here weapons. Done. Do you have anything else to go in? Yes, actually. She's got a lot of armor. Anything more? No. Excellent. Done. Okay, so now I'm going to go up top and let's start with the post-game gameplay. Because we're, we're at it. We're, we've actually reached it. I'm very excited for this. This is actually a really, really cool uh, little thing to add to the game. I'm leaping in. We're going in. We're going into the Everfall. And down we go. I feel bad for anyone who lived in the slums, because quite frankly, that's where everybody died. Hey, Yinsen, did you hear the news of my cousin? Uh, they're leaving, right? The I imagine you are Silly Dino under a different account? Yeah, they mentioned that they're leaving. Sad. It's sad to hear, but it 
I can't really change anybody's mind, honestly. I'm not going to tell somebody to stay somewhere where they just very clearly aren't very comfortable. Hello, Sarah. Oh, she's a pawn. I thought she was a vendor. All right, so where is this? Every single one of these doors, by the way, there's lots and lots of uh, little platforms that you can fall onto and grab all the way down here. You probably saw them when we were falling down last time. We are going to be going into every single one of these rooms if we can, and we're going to start hoarding wake stones. So this is the Chamber of Confusion. There's going to be a bit of a fight in here. For all time. Okay, let's go ahead and just fire a threefold bolt at whatever... No, actually, that's a pawn. I remember this. Hello there, sir. How are you today? Our descent was slow work and hard won. In the end, it claimed my master's life. This place is home to fearsome creatures, sir. Take care. Okay, well, thank you very, very much for the advice. Uh, this is the first little platform that you land on. Hey there, lady, you got your law? Those among the pawns that haunt this place who attack any they see. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I know not the cause of their corruption. Perhaps no one does. All right. Uh, it's probably because... Uh, actually, Dragon's Dogma 2 uh, definitely outlined this. It's called Pawn Sickness. And it's when they have been away from their Arisen Treasure for too perhaps. long. They become corrupted and they start attacking... E Val just sniped that off of me. Good shot, Jax. You really showed that box what's what. Yeah, it was, it was kind of sad to see. I don't really like when anybody has a bad experience on the platform. Like oh, we've got a gazer. Perfect. Nice. I like this. So these guys are real fun to fight, actually. I'm going to go ahead and attack when I can. But I'm not going to worry when I can't. Okay, let's get bow mode out. Or not bow mode. Good, and we'll start firing at these things. Now, these shots actually home in on enemies, which is really, really neat. Looks like Jax is already kind of like... J Jax knows what's what. I don't think it was being eaten by the gazer, but I definitely think that it was most certainly uh, aggressing. He was latching onto the side of it, which is kind of the build that we want for Scarby. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's try for that. Let's try for... Are you really? Let's try for commission. Let's get a commission right under its bum. And... Good boy, Jax. Up we go. Boom. Okay, so that should penetrate its armor a little bit. I know we're not doing much damage, but the actual uh, tentacles that are coming out of the woodwork, they're not actually too bad. They're, 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 they have a separate health pool. Okay, someone is about to get electrocuted. That sucks. Okay, he's going to do a big old stone gaze, I think. No, that's just binding, actually. That's super easy to deal with. Perfect. Let's get another... Actually, let's get a Levin in there, see what it does. I think Levin might be really good against it. And here we go! Bang, bang! Great! Excellent. Okay, uh, getting another Levin on this tentacle right here, so maybe we can kind of, like, get rid of it. Okay, that was not powerful whatsoever. That is kind of the downside. Oh, my God. This scabby just got thrown up into the sky. I probably want to be uh, away from that thing, right? Boom! Okay. I am so glad that I didn't get hit by that, to be honest. What is this? Melacrest. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. All right, good. Straight up the tentacles, guys. That's how you get rid of the uh, the damage. The damage shield. Okay, good. Jax absolutely just annihilated that one. Excellent. Let's try Frazzle? No, let's not try Frazzle. I think that one's casting on Scarby. Yep, perfect. Oh, another Malachrist right here. Beautiful. Good, Jax. Uh, you attack it. You attack, and we will keep on uh, kind of like drawing aggro away. Have you ever made a playthrough through, through Max Payne 3? No, I've not. I've, in fact, I've never even played that. Maybe I'll give that one a go. Is it worth it? I've like seen the bullet time. That's really cool. But I've never, I don't think I've played it myself. Okay, let's start firing away. In fact, probably want to start maybe getting some spells out, right? Yes. Let's try for a threefold. This is actually a pretty potent spell, the threefold bolt. There we go. Okay, Jax is uh, doing a big load of damage again. Try against that. Let's try Seeker Bolt. Oh, look at that. Painted. Boom. Okay, we'll try for another Seeker Bolt. We are being pretty stamina conscientious, which is very cool. Okay, good. It's leaving. Where is it? Okay, I'm firing. I did no shot that I destroyed that. Jax, blink! Blink! Blink through them! 
Okay, I'm not doing a hell of a lot of damage against it. I think that it mainly has physical weakness. It's, it's probably not damage resistance, right? Because it is kind of like a little bit of a mage. All right, let's try for Levin. Because it's potent-ish. And I'll cast it right here. Oh, close. Almost got a big uh, load of damage off. Okay, let's try for the bow mode again, and we'll try for the Seeker Bolt. Oh, there's only two of them now. Okay. That's a little obnoxious. It's now attempting to ram. Excellent. Go! Go, everybody! Okay. We are dumping stamina at a pretty alarming rate, but it could be significantly worse. Go, everybody! Uh, we basically want to expose its eye. When we expose its eye, it's going to basically just, like, fall down. Like this? Maybe? No. Okay, it's got all of its, uh, shields back up and such. That's fine. As long as we do enough damage to it, we're gonna be in a very, very good spot. Okay, let's get our stamina back. Oh, hello there. Uh, what's your name? I'm Gibson. Thank you, Jax. Jax got him, uh, pretty much annihilated. Let's get away from this guy. For a good reason, he just spat at us like a llama. Like a llama who doesn't like us. Whoa, they're everywhere. Okay, Jax is not really getting hit whatsoever. It's pretty awesome. What is this? This is Malachrys shards. I'm gonna take those. I'm gonna do some looting, I think. Go! Don't come to me. Oh, Scarby! Yes, those daggers are really potent, actually. Good, good. Okay, we need to go over here next. Let's go here, grab this Harspid milk, and we'll also grab this Malachrist. Ah, excellent! Yes, the, oh, the eye was hanging out, but... Oh, perfect, here we go. Go! Everybody, fire! Never mind. The chance is over. It's pretty tanky, isn't it? You gotta, like, out DPS its uh, tentacle regeneration, which can be a little bit frustrating. That was half of our health gone. That sucks. Okay, looks like Val is... ...killing on herself. Beautiful. Good, good. The eye is now exposed. Oh, I got another one in there. Okay, let's start firing away at the tentacles. And one more. There we go. And now it's attacking. I don't think the magic is really doing a hell of a lot, though, to be quite here. Maybe you want to kind of like... Maybe we want to try for a, a, a different series of magic, right? Maybe like Comestion? Okay, let's try for Comestion. See what happens. Go! Okay, that's not going to hit us. Nice. And I'm going to try for a high commission this time, because it does cast pretty quickly. Kind of compared to the rest of our spells. Here we go. Boom. Big old wall of fire. Johnny Cash should be proud of that one. You can probably keep on trying for that. I don't know how much damage it's retrospectively going to keep doing. Ow. Oh, that's the first time. We didn't take, like, an absolute ass load of damage from a hit. No, Alright, Jax has decided that the tentacles are actually a priority, which is just fantastic. Val ate dirt. Okay, can't do any damage there. Uh, anything that we can attack, maybe? There is one over here. It's kind of like dipping and dodging. I am trying to attack. Okay, that is not taking damage whatsoever. Probably want to just attack these ones, right? Alright, good. I don't actually know if I'm doing any damage to it. Oh, don't want to be hit by that. Let's have these tentacles that is binding. Okay, excellent. Jax has taken them all out. Perfect. We try for a combustion. I don't really think it's going to be all that useful, though, because the tentacles are already disappearing. Okay, that is a tentacle gone. Great. I don't know if it was me, though. It might have been Jax. Maybe it was me. I'd like to think it was me. Okay, it's going to be wandering around now. Hello there. What's your name? I'm Yudsen. Would you like some fire? Oh, thanks, Jax. <laughs> he actually just stole my kill. Oh, perfect. Good. This is the chance we wanted. Go, everybody. Okay, we did no damage, unfortunately. We want to basically get it out of the sky, don't we? Let's try for a commission. Or not. Right. Okay, we did a bit of damage. Not a lot of damage. What the hell is it doing? Oh, I think it might be regenerating tentacles. There it goes. And let's... Commission. Done. Unshielded my ass. It just blocked every single one of those flame walls I cast. Okay, it's moving around. They're a little bit frustrating, but they don't do a huge amount of damage. 
So they're honestly pretty reasonable. Okay. I'm going to take out these two right here with a pretty quick spell. Boom. Okay, I did some damage. I didn't do a lot, though. Ow. I just face tanked a gigantic round of ice blasts. Okay, I'm literally doing no damage with this. Maybe I have to do, like, physical damage. Let's see if I can't, like, uh, do a heavy attack on them. Oh, yes, that actually does do a potent amount of damage. Good. Where is it? There it is. Excellent. Okay, we're going to start uh, trying for the damage move. Good. Excellent. Let's go ahead and try and knock all of its what's my tingles off. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and do a big one. Oh, Jax. <laughs> Jax is kill stealing like crazy. All right, we'll come over here. I don't know which one's which. Probably that one, because it's got a health bar. What is it doing? I think it's like going through portals. Portals and portals. It's aggroed on me for some reason. Ow. I'm surprised it actually hit me. All right, good. That's going to be a big one. Watch out, guys. You're bound. Okay, Scarby got around it. Perfect. I'm going to start attacking with my club. <laughs> I'm clubbing it to death. Good. It's eating. Perfect. Let's keep on whacking it with this. Because this seems to be a good way of dealing some kind of damage. Or not. Okay, uh, let's fire. That is actually dealing a little bit of damage, but it's not very potent, is it? Then maybe we need to find a, a better way of doing this. Okay, he is angry. <laughs> Who's he? What's he attacking? What is he even doing? We need his uh, tentacles to come out and start sticking out of the ground, to be quite honest. But it doesn't really look like he's... There's one. Okay, let's go ahead and just jump and... That... Why? Oh, we're in the boat. Good. Alright, I got one attack on that. Okay, Jax just aggroed it with a gigantic shield slam. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Oh, he's knocking off the tentacles. Okay, just a couple more. Or it could leave. That's also fine. Let's start attacking whatever this is. I don't really care too much about the actual monster because it doesn't really seem to hit very hard. Okay, good. Uh, Val can probably heal me at her most convenient moment. Oh, here we go. And I got it. Nope. Okay, Jax just stole the kill. Kind of defeated the purpose of me attacking him in the first place. Yes! Oh my god, that was potent. That was a big hit. Okay, it hates physical. Let's keep on just, like, wailing away at it. Without, without stuff like an absolute ape. Okay, it's now shielded. Or is it? Alright, everyone, go! Go, Jax! Attack it! Again, with the physical. Yes, perfect. One more. Get it! Get it good, Jax! Yeah, good. More! Okay, perfect. That was a pretty good uh, attack right there. Excellent. Okay. So, he's going through the barriers. That's fine. I'm going to start wailing away on this thing. I don't think Jax is really going to start attacking it. Never mind. I was completely wrong. We're almost dead. Uh, let's go ahead and use a Husband. Now, Val needs to get us up. I uh, probably don't want come. We probably want help, right? All right, Jax. Do it. Uh, I've got a health bubble popping on me very shortly. I just took a bunch of ice damage, I think. All right, good. We uh, survived. We outlasted. Like that TV show. Or even that game. Outlast. No, Outlast was never a TV show. Okay, I think he's a little bit tired. Damn it, we missed our opportunity. We just couldn't close the gap of the entire arena in, in such a, a few mega seconds. Oh, that's right. We were going to get the crap skills off of Scarby's bar, weren't we? Because she's got some crap skills. All right, good shot. Uh, okay, they've got a little bit of uh, the, old, the old defense up and going. Go ahead and do a jump attack while he's kind of like eating or something like that, I think. Isn't he just? Okay, good. Yeah, but now it's up. <laughs> okay, that's not good. That's really bad, actually. Oh, uh, Scarby's dying for some reason. That's a first. Why would you do that, Val? That is literally the opposite of your purpose in combat. Now that's who should be doing it. 
Should be decked. Okay. Still armored. Is it? Oh, so it is. Let's get away from whatever the hell these things I don't even know what they do. I've never seen someone hit by them. Go, go! Go, go! Leave it to us! Okay, I thought he was going to do the big swing around the uh, around the bottom, but it doesn't seem like he wants to do that whatsoever. Oop, don't want to be hit by that. Damn it! Oh, so close. Almost. Go! Is there any, like, explosives around the place we can just throw at him? Probably not, honestly. Nice! Okay, Jex just absolutely annihilated him. I'll take his wake stones. Nice, I think we got two of them. What else we got here? Evil eyeball. Sure, I'll take that. And also a small coin pouch. Welcome he was not wealthy business. whatsoever. In fact, he was very pro. Our business here is finished. Okay, there's nothing else around here that we can necessarily loot, so not going to worry about it too much. Let's go ahead and just leave. I think I think that's going to be the way, right? When when we're done with the area, we just go. All right, chamber of confusion. We do have a little bit of health regen, which is pretty funny, actually. I think it's from the armor that we're wearing, the like robes. Anytime. We get like a, a couple of blips of health every now and then. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we can now go to a different chamber. That was probably, I would say, maybe the second hardest fight down here, just because of how frequently he kind of tanks everything. So we'll try for here next. I don't know where this is. Isn't this a cool concept? This is so sick. I love this so much, and I absolutely love the story of, like, you're never supposed to beat the dragon. The dragon literally holds the story together. And without the dragon, uh, the entire world crumbles down. So cool. And now we're kind of like a, a at a hub of broken time. So all of the universes are blending together, which is where all those uh, harpies came from. Oh, hey there, lady. Are you an NPC? Hello. Hello, Can Alice. No, she is not an NPC. But we can kind of, like, do some friend things to her, like this. Bye-bye. Does she come from the top? I've never done this before. I've never, like, thrown an NPC down there. But theoretically, they should, like, come from the top and fall down. Oh, hello there. Maybe not. Maybe they don't. Oh, well, at least we know, right? At least now we know. Okay. Chamber of Apprehension. Is this the Hydra? The Hydra is probably the toughest fight. No, it's too cockatrice. Oh, this is just frustrating. All right, fine. Uh, I just got a uh, boot on, I think. Let's go ahead and use a high commission against one of them. So we want to. Boom! Okay, we just got one hit by a goblin. Oh my god. No, we don't want to use a wake stone at all. Uh, that is a waste of a wake stone. Usually you want to use a wake stone when it's uh, probably a little bit like no better. I've known. Okay, let's try the bow. Let's try the bow out. Uh, Threefold bolt? No, seeker bolt. Grim goblin arisen. <laughs> okay, it actually does quite a bit of damage, the seeker bolt. Okay, we want to probably upgrade this as soon as possible, right? Good, uh, it's attacking us. Let's run, because it's... Breath is hideous. Oh, there's a couple of these wasmadingles here too. Evil Eyeball. They completely resist any instance of magic, which is really annoying. And they also kind of like take the aggro of your shots, which is even worse, I would say. Okay, let's come over here. Oh. Okay, you're unpetrified. Uh, one of those goblins just got killed by the cockatrice. I hope it doesn't level up because of it. Hello there, sir. Here you go. I've got some fire for you. Burn! We did. <laughs> okay, so you've basically seen all this room has to offer. We're actually not going to do this room because it sucks. It's it's a really frustrating one. One cockatrice is uh, even more annoying. Wait, what the hell? Where's the door? You are... Oh, no, we can leave. We can just leave. We can leave. Okay. There was no door, but we can leave. Screw apprehension. That one sucked. We're never going there again. What about this one here? What's this one? Clong. Ow. Hit my face on the steps as I was uh, grabbing onto that. Okay. What else this are we looking at? Is the axis along which all turns. Is the source. 
Yep. It is. The, it is. It, it's where all of the um, kind of like the time and the universe come together and stuff like that. So you should theoretically, like according to the law, see other arisen falling down here, but we don't because time is so broad that it would literally be an infinite statistical anomaly to see that. All right, what's in here? Chamber of Tragedy. I'll be the judge of that. Ah, this, I think this is, um, oh, even worse. I thought it was the dog, but it's not, it's Succubite. Now, they can't take me out with the old, uh, what is it called? Oh, there's also a phantom here. Okay, let's take out this harpy while it's down and stunned. Done. What is this? That is definitely some kind of phantom. I could probably take it out with my staff. There we go, done. They kind of break away whenever they get hit by physical damage, I think. Cease! Cease your singing! Stop! Actually, we are doing a potent amount of damage against these guys. Considering we just started this vocation. Okay, good. I know it's probably a little bit fiddly to watch as well, but as long as they're kind of like within the ring, we are targeting them. Okay, good. We'll start attacking this one because I think Jax has just fallen asleep for some reason. Good, Jax is holding it down, so we'll uh, multiply the damage we're doing against them. Excellent. Where's the next one gone? There it is. Nice shot, Val. Where to go? I think <laughs> I think Jax just did a blink strike against it. And then knocked it across the room. Hello there. Okay, good. Damn, this thing is really angry. Okay, free fall bolt. I'm just going to go nuclear. Screw this thing. Wait, seriously? Why didn't it... Okay, good. Threefold boat is uh, really, really good against them. Bolt, not boat. What am I, Canadian? Okay, we'll come in here. There may be some more enemies. I'm suspicious that there's probably actually going to be a bunch more enemies. We're also... Oh, for God's sake. We are actually at the point of the game now as well, where it is probably going to be best to... Okay, I don't know why most of those missed. Go! Excellent. Okay, we were hit. <laughs> well, I don't think we can generate the skill fast enough, honestly. These guys are really annoying. Okay. He went after Jax, which is awesome. Let's knock him out of the sky. Okay. There's... <laughs> the kind of like, the transition between... Oh, Strigoi. Gargoyles, that's it. Strigoi is a bit of Black Isle thing. Oh, for God's sake. These guys suck. This is a, a terrible place to be as well. But we're kind of like in challenge mode now. Where you're kind of also rewarded for it as well. Okay. I'm trying to get this guy, but he's uh, really frustrating. Okay, we got him. I think Jax blinked him. Okay, I think we've got another succubi down here. But we've also got a gargoyle after us who are very, very difficult to take out too. Get out. I'm doing my best. Pull it down first. Yes, I'm trying. You do enough damage with magic and they fall down. Okay, he's going to be regrouping, I think. I think a threefold... No. Yeah, threefold bolt. I don't really need anything else. There it is. Oh. Okay, didn't work. It didn't do anything. Yep, that's why I don't like him. Okay, we've got more of them now. Great. So, they have petrify abilities. We probably actually want to maybe get some kind of ring or skill that uh, maybe less prioritize sleep and more prioritize uh, petrify. Because that's a really annoying thing to have to deal with. It, there's only a few specific items that counter it, and it's. And when you do encounter it, it's really frustrating. If we are remedied for petrifaction, uh, we probably do actually, but you're not using it until you get petrified. I have it! Okay, this thing is uh, big damage. Apparently Jax has this, but uh, it actually had him. Yeah, I know. I know the deal. Man, we only need to land one more. Good. A thousand experience. Good. Uh, this guy right here has to go. Here's the pits. They've also got really, really high defense in every single way, shape, and form. Okay, I'll take these. What have you got, Scarby? What have you looted? Selamit secret? Okay, good. We actually killed him. We killed Selamit. Okay, so come through here. Should be coming into a new area. There might be dogs. Oh, for God's sake. 
Oh, there's two of them. Okay, good thing I sprinted. Okay, let's start firing away. As if we have a choice. Uh, let's go for a threefold on this guy right here. Good. It doesn't do a hell of a lot. Okay, that didn't do anything either. Oops. Go ahead and just start firing. You know what's the worst that could happen? We do damage. We miss. It's fine. I'll just start uh, popping shots off. So, with Magic Archer, it's really the skills that deal damage. And since we have no vocation uh, ranks... Well, we might have a couple now. Do we, he just drop a wake stone. Jesus. Give me that. I'll take that. Oh, wake stone shard. That makes more sense. Okay. Whale on it, guys. Whale is on the ground. Good guy, Jax. Awesome. I'll take that. Scabby just looted a bastard wing. That's fantastic. We actually did want that bastard wing as well. It's going to be uh, really good for upgrading our gear. And we want to upgrade our gear. I don't know if we can go through here. It seems to be locked. No, it's definitely, it's definitely locked. We can't go through there. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll backtrack a little bit and we'll see if we can't go up to the mezzanine floor up top, which is up there. I seem to remember there is kind of like a path in one of these rooms that resembles this area. Wow, I never noticed those statues up there before. It's kind of cool, actually. I do really like that. Okay, let's see if there's any way up from this side. It's going to be hard to see because our character is just so short. But we may be able to get up there if we... No, I don't think that we're able to because we didn't latch onto that. Never mind. I uh, I completely lied. There is a staircase right here. Let's see what's up here. Okay, we definitely have our magic bow out, which is a fun class to use. Piss off. Really? What the hell? What is up with this? I don't know why, but this is like a, a full screen application. And it seems to like tab itself out every now and then. I've never seen that before, by the way. And it gives itself in like a, a Windows 8 kind of... Um... Here we go. I got it. It gives me like kind of like a, a Windows 8 style border on it. On the game. Very strange. I hear something big. I don't know what it is. What's in here? This is Wakestone Shard, yes please. That may be the second one towards a proper Wakestone. There's another one over here. This is probably also going to be a Wakestone Shard. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. Yep, there we go. And we got a Wakestone, excellent. So we need 20 of those. We need 20 Wakestones to get through to the kind of like host game content. Okay, there's nothing in here, just another chest. Wakestone Shard? Yes, excellent. That is one towards the three we need for another. We've probably got a few wake stones on us right now, to be honest. Okay, good. Sundering Spear Tome. We might actually use that next fight we get into so we see what it does. Because we can buy them for about 900 buckery boos each, which is really cheap. Especially when you have literally millions of dollars. Oh, we should have gone over there. <laughs> we, should have, we should have crossed the entire room. All right, we'll come down here, and we should be golden to check out another area. By the way, there's another area cleared. We have cleared another area. Maybe. Let's do one more. Let's do one more room. We'll act actually, before we decide, we'll check our status to see. Yeah, we got three ranks into Magic Archer. We'll see what gets us more vocation rank. We'll see if we get another vocation rank in another area. And if we do rank it up one more time, we'll go down to the... What is it called? The vocations. We'll we'll go and we'll go and change our vocations uh, skills because our skills are lacking, massively, massively lacking. I realize our shirt was so pixelated. Hello, lady. You look nice. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Yes, arisen. Bye bye. Uh, whoa. Hello. Hi, Dio Brando. Yes, Wait, isn't that a JoJo's Bizarre Hello. Adventure thing? Yes, Dio. I I recognize that name. I'm certain of it. This is the guy with the lollipop meme, right? Where he swirls the lollipop around in his in his in his mouth. Oh, his appearance rating is not great. Yes, there isn't. Why do people give four stars to everyone? Why not like five stars? Just kind of like as a as a courtesy thing. Like, hey, I used your pawn. It helped me beat a bunch of fights. That's good enough. Except Gemma. Gemma was literally a waste of a pawn slot. Chamber of Lament. Whoa, we are saving before we enter here. I know I just saw the save icon over here, but it was too late. I've already committed to saving. 
Chamber of Lament. What the hell is that? Oh, this is the Ur Dragon. Ah, cool. Let's go ahead and actually do something uh, that may be a hot take. Let's go ahead and go offline right here. Done. There is a reason for that. The online Ur Dragon, it is a pain in the ass. It's kind of like one of those raids where you do enough damage, he flies away, and then you got to keep on getting him to respawn um, over and over again until he kind of like... Until you get to the point where he actually dies, which is like, I don't know, 3,000 battles, I think. But offline, you can fight him yourself. So we're going to be doing this. Okay, I was hoping to jump on that. So there should be a few pawns over here, if I remember right. Also see if this is, uh, hurty. No, it does not hurt. Valmus found a silver ring. Oh my god. Scabby found a foreign knife. This place is loaded with wealth. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we don't have anything to increase the petrifaction. What is this? Silver ring. What does it do? Yo, know, it's only a pleasing adornment. Okay. What does Val have, actually? She's got the ogre bone, which is useless to her. And she's also got the virtuoso ring, which boosts magic. Ah, that's a bit of like Isle thing. It's pretty good, actually. I like that. Okay, so there are a couple of enemies just over here. This is a competing party. One of them is an Arisen. Done. Got him. Got the fighter out of the way. This right here is an Assassin. Win. No, she is not. She's going to lose. We have triumph, strength I'll say. Uh, we'll get that small coin patch. We've got a mage here. Cassandra. What is this? Assassin's Creed? All right, she did. So we should have now triggered the urge. No, there should be one more, actually. Okay, we'll come up here. And we'll see if there's not one more enemy that we can fight. Have come. Yes, I have come. Very well, Arisen. I've come in my pants as well. I've come in my pants. I'm wearing pants this time. That's because <laughs> we weren't wearing pants when we fought the other dragon. So the Ur Dragon is supposed to be kind of like a, a, an undead version of the dragon we fought at the in the base game, and we are going to be fighting him. Oh my god! Oh, he actually just scared the crap out of me. He's got almost yeah. So people have killed him 2,302 times since this game released. Okay, that first one's a tail strike. We know that much. We want to aim for pustules instead of anything else. Okay, that really hurt actually. Let's get up here. He's attacking with a magic. Okay, it's not going after us, which is fortunate. Now, if we deal some damage to him, he's just going to flee, right? And then we have to wait until the Ur Dragon is literally killed by the entire player base. Right over here. All right, what are you casting? What is he casting? I can't tell. Ah, okay, he's casting Petrifaction. So we do actually need some kind of petrifaction thing for Scarby. Let's give her a panacea. There you go. Enjoy. Drink that, you big bastard. Glug, glug, glug. Oh, no. We don't want to be caught in that. We got caught in it anyway. Excellent. Nice. Uh, Val is dead in the nuke. I don't really care about that too much. We're just, we're just going to let her die. Now, he is weak to fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop myself a hike mission. Let's pop one right on his foot. There's a little tootsie right here. Or we could wait a little bit and we can move this over. Like, there would be a good one. Boom! Excellent. I think I stunned him. I don't think he kind of, like, left off his own volition. I think that was definitely Comestion. Now, the reason I went offline is because the offline Ur Dragon only has a single fight tied to the rewards. But... You don't get as good weapons and stuff like that. You don't get kind of like the, the Ur Dragon rewards, which has permanent holy enchants. So you can kind of see why people would want to kill this guy. They're basically as good as gear can get until you get to Bit of Black Isle level 3 gear. Okay, good. Damn it, I actually wanted to use that barrel. Scarby's dead. Okay. We're going to have to change that right now. Let's go ahead and... Go and uh, lift her up. Oh no! That's Comestion! Oh, that was so close. Oh. Okay, this Scarby. He just got hit by a bolide, which is pretty funny. Run! Okay, good. Uh, he's probably going to do another attack. 
Uh, that's a bowl load five, so one. Let's go ahead and just cast Levin on him for fun. I don't think Levin really does much to him. Yeah, it doesn't do a hell of a lot to him. And I also don't know if we kind of like, we're on a time limit to deal damage. I've never known this. I feel like we have got the online Ur Dragon right here. Okay, that's combustion. We can just outwalk them. Oh, a lot. Believe me, Val. A lot of Arisen have become a meal for this beast. Uh, let's not get Val up because she can just get herself up. I think that's the combustion over. Good. Let's go ahead and just fire up a high combustion right under him. Boom. Okay, probably going to be a drop slam right there. Done. Let's go get Scarby while the Ur-Dragon kind of like fiddles around. Oh, piss off. I think he's deploying a new. Yeah, I'll say. I'm getting away from that. I know what it's going to be. I hope it, uh, no, it's against us. Good. We only got hit a couple of times. We didn't get stunned to the ground by it, which is awesome. Uh, let's try and use the bow then. I think this... Yeah, okay. So we're kind of like looking for pustules and stuff like that. It should be glowing in some places, but it doesn't actually look like it is whatsoever. Where, are, where is it glowing? On the wings, maybe? No, nope, can't connect with the wings. Maybe we just kind of like fire it to the side. It's got little pustules all over itself, and it, we need to kind of like fire at those, but it's really hard to kind of figure out where they are. Because it looks like most of them have just kind of like dissipated. Let's go on this side then. Who's dead? Well, that's fine. All right, there's nothing on this side of him either. I'll scale it and strike from above. I'll strike its mouth as it unleashes fire. Yeah, you guys do that. No, oh, Scarby's really tired actually. Aim for the head as it ready strike with a beast. Oh, piss off. No! Damn, that almost killed us. Let's go ahead and use some kind of curative, maybe a no, not liquid vim. Rousing incest? No. Panacea? No. We need Val. Oh, also, uh, Scarby and Val are dead. How about Jax? Jax is still wailing away on this poor wanker. No! Not like this! Okay, good. That's Val dead. Like I give two hoots. Okay, he's deploying a nuke, it seems. And it seems like Val is actually going to heal us. I don't know if we're going to be able to get away from the nuke in time. Run! Okay, it was on Jax, which is nice. We don't have to worry about that too much if that's the case. All right, Scarby's got low health again. Come around here. I don't even know if we're dealing damage to him. I think we're doing a little bit of damage to him, but it might be best to uh, come back here eventually. Okay, that's death. Jax might burn to death as well. Uh, it looks like he's dead. So is Scarby. So here's the thing, right? We... Oh, piss off. We can't go under him. Oh, that's not good. I don't think. Good. Uh, we definitely outmaneuvered that hand swing. I'm not going to get grabbed by that. Hell no. <laughs> Couldn't pay me to get grabbed by that. I think we will try and leave, but I don't actually think we can go out that side here. No, it's too high. We literally cannot go out that side. All right. So uh, we're also getting into, you can do it, man. Win. Oh, I will. I will win, Nick Tanico. I will definitely win. Help me. Eventually. Madness calls. Oh, no. We don't want Jax to be... Um, we don't want him to be psyop by the dragon because he will literally kill her entire party in no time flat. Leave it to me. Keep your distance, master. Okay, I will do that, Jax. Don't come up to me. Oh, you asshole. You asshole! No, they won't be advised. Okay, we're going up here. Let's just ignore Jax. Okay. So, Val is down. That's absolutely fine. This is the exit. This is also where you claim the loot when the Ur Dragon dies. I'm gonna wait until Val gets up off of the ground, because I can see her on the minimap. And then I'm going to leave. Good. Nice. So, Ur Dragon, almost impossible, unless you go to an inn and just set everything to offline mode. That is a really hard fight. Even when you do have kind of like the offline easy mode. Okay, we'll get a little bit of health back. We'll try for this end here, see if we can't check out what this area entails. Maybe we'll find something that's not just absolute garbage to fight. This might be a Hydra. Hydras are really fun. The world we knew I like Hydra. Yeah, Scarby's got it. This is the Chamber of Fate. Let's go ahead and do a save in here. And see what else we are going to be deigned with. It might be Nightmare Fuel. It might not be. Chamber of Fate. Is this the two Cyclops one? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! 
<laughs> oh no! Jinx, carry! <laughs> oh no! Okay, commission time! Ah, uh, that's poison. Okay, good. I got my commission out just in time as the lightning struck me in the face. Let's go ahead and just pop down another one of these here commissions when he has stopped running around perfect. Here you go, buddy! It's free! Conscience free! Excellent. So that actually did heaps of damage. Uh, if we can do one more of those while he's down, we should be uh, killed him. Oh, bugger. That dire wolf just uh, got an attack off on us. And it seems like Val is not really interested in healing us anymore. I am going to get rid of this Chimera right this second because it is actually a pain in the ass. Okay, good. Let's try for the bow mode. And we will try for hedge. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> that is a rough one. Do we want to use Wakestone? No, we want to collect those for the end result, which is basically just... Feels like no other it's, it's basically just collect uh, 20 stones and then you can beat the game. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fire up a commission. Let's try and get this guy from range. We can't, he's not close enough. Uh, there's also a Lich over here that we could probably use commission against. Let's do that. Okay, the Lich was not even remotely close to the ground enough to get a high commission. Okay, I, he's really hard to get around. Let's just fire a big commission right here, try and get both of these Chimeras. Nice! Beautiful! Okay, I think we took out the Snake Tail, which is just fantastic. I hope they don't aggro onto us at all. Because <laughs> that's not going to be good. Uh, there's also this Lich right here that I kind of also want to commist. Alright, I'm firing. Boom! And we're on pretty low HP. We got hit by some kind of fireball from somewhere. Let's try to go on the defensive for now, because we may be aggroed on after that huge, huge load of damage. Okay, so dogs are after us. We just got hit by a gigantic wall of ice, which is not good whatsoever. Val is going to get us up, if she can. Let's try and get this guy from range. Okay, we're doing a little bit of damage to him. Let's try for maybe threefold bolt. Or seeker bolt. Sure, that's fine as well. And boom. Good. That, uh, it is multiplying the amount of damage we're doing. But I don't necessarily think that that's doing enough damage to kind of like take him out. Okay, good. Uh, let's try for another commission while we're here. I think the dogs are trying to fire a bunch of crap at us. Uh, we're, we're dead. Okay, let's use a wake stone, a single wake stone. And if it wins us this fight, it was well spent because we're probably going to get a bunch of them in exchange. Okay, that was close. We are literally being aggroed on by everything except for the Chimera, which is the one thing we actually want to be attacking. High commission, please. Boom. Done. Is that good? Okay, we are being uh, attacked. We are stuck in an attack phase. Scarby's dead. That's not good. Let's actually go and get her up now because we have a bunch of attacks coming against us right this second. Oh, that's poison. Sweet Jesus. Okay, let's go into this big healing bubble right here. Is this Lich healing everything? Is that what's going on right now? Okay, let's try for another high commission underneath this here uh, Chimera. Uh, where are you going, buddy? You going right here? That's fine. Here you go. Free damage! Oh, I think we just got knocked over. Yep, we got knocked over by uh, some kind of giant beam of ice. Let's not run through the poison or whatever the hell that is. Okay, Scarby's about to die. Can we let go? Hello there. Okay, we're being attacked again. Let's go through here. We'll get Scarby up. And we're dead. Do we use another one? Probably would be best to, actually. We could probably actually do it. Okay. So, we used two... We used two of them. That's not amazing. Who else is dead? Jax is dead. That's a first. Jax usually doesn't die. It seems like the Lich is actually using uh, Seeker Bolts against us as well, which is pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and try and use something a little bit more... Would you piss off, you penis? No, I'm not using another one. I'm not, I'm not using another one. That is actually not worth it. We'll keep... We're getting out of here. We're going to go and we're going to try and re-up our skills up top side. And then we're going to come back here because this is revolting. This is terrible to deal with. Yes, thank you, Val. Very touching. What the hell? Weren't we like right next to the bottom? I thought we were right next to the bottom. 
I knew we weren't. Okay. So, we'll come down here. We'll get some better skills. We should be able to with the pawn guild. We should be just up the staircase right in front of us here. I think we're in a pretty good spot, honestly. Like, I know we just lost a bunch of crap, but... We're probably in a really, really good spot. Hello, Quince. I do not like Quince. Not so much the pawn, but like the fruit. And the reason I don't like Quince is because uh, my granddad didn't like Quince. I'm a sheep. In some ways. In some ways. But if my granddad didn't like, I ended up not liking either. It wasn't genetic. We just had very similar personalities. Okay. So all the way up the staircase and to our right should be a salam. Hello? Assalam? Assalamu alaikum. Take a look at the map. Okay, good. And no, we don't want to rest. We want to learn or set skills. Yes. So, daggers, yuck. Don't want frazzle. That's actually a yucky skill. Probably don't want to use that much. We probably want to kind of like get all of these uh, skills ranked up, right? Fires an arrow of magical light and to illuminate the area. <clears throat> the flash it creates surprises foes and damages the undead. Well, we are actually coming across lots of undead at this point. Okay, useless augments. Detection expands one's field of vision, uh, more easily revealing unknown areas of the map. That is not helpful for us. Potential extends the limit of your stamina. That would be handled handy for us. But not actually, you know what? Let's get detection. I know the map's like the back of my hand, but I like filling them out anyway. Let's just do all of this. And you know what? We're also going to go what straight back into do? that same menu. And we're going to get all of these crap skills off of Scarby's bar. Because quite frankly, they suck. Instant reset, sure. She gets really tired really easily. So maybe like daggers are not for her. Uh, mm, Deathly arrow. What is this two? Fires 11 arrows along a broad sweep instead of seven. Uh, yuck. Even more powerful shot equal to the amount of time spent charging. We probably want to take that one off of her hotbar. Invasive arrow. This is an arrow that deals paltry damage but delivers a toxin to weaken the defenses of what body part it hits. That's not bad, actually. Could do that. Lying down. Fires an arrow that produces a deafening blare on impact, stunning nearby foes, uh, though it deals nearly no damage. That could be good, actually. We'll do this one. Fearful din. Okay. Increase the area of effect. We can do that one. Common shot. Let's the user zoom in and out, increase its shot's precision and control. That is useless to us. Uh, willing arrow, probably handy. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Uh, yes, we want to change our skills. Good grief, yes. We want to get... Biting wind slashes past the target, appending more strikes to the onslaught upon connecting with the foe. Yucky. Advanced form of toss and trigger with a stronger output slash that sends foes aloft. Additional button presses throw and detonate large stores of power. That is good. Let's get these crap skills off of Scarby. Like this one right here sucks ass. Indicated shot sucks ass. Meteor shot? No. Fearful didn't. We probably want that one. Body binder? No. Yuck. We'll get those skills off of her hopper because they are quite frankly today? just... Just annoying. All right, we'll set some skills for ourselves now. Uh, don't want daggers. We want to replace Frazzle with high angle because the Frazzle sucks. Let's face it. Freefold Bolt. Uh, we probably want Magical Flare as well. Just a, a bit more utility. And I feel like it might damage that Lich really, really well. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go back down to the Everfall and we'll continue on with the post-game challenge content. And once we kind of like get to the next area of the game... I'm not going to be too worried about what happens in this playthrough. The next playthrough, we're going to try run for a 100% playthrough. We're going to get all the quests. We're not going to fail anything. We're going to do all the Witchwood stuff, which we completely ignored. And I think as well, we may want to focus in on getting ourselves... What else? Bitter Black Isle, don't we? We want to try Bitter Black Isle out. I mean, we could try it now, but... At the same time, there's still story to be seen. I could probably actually skip these cutscenes of me just landing. The axis along which all Good. Let's go all the way through here. Source. Hello there, ma'am. You look really familiar, actually. Hello. Hello, Caroline. Thanks, Maybe not. Maybe she doesn't look familiar. Maybe I don't know who the hell she is. Um, Jax actually has a permanent enchanted holy shield, which is how I know so much about the Ur Dragon. Chamber of Tragedy. What is tragic about this place? Do we know anything about this place? Let's find out. I think we've been here, actually. Yeah, we've been here. We don't want to be here. This place is the one that's full of all the harpies and strigoi. They're really annoying. Let's leave. <laughs> let's get out of here. Good. And now let's come down to... Not this one. Maybe we want to start going on this side. What's this one right here? Okay. I'm not landing. I landed. This is the bottom one. I think. I don't think there's anything beneath us. No, there is not. 
Right, so what's this one called? Because this one could... What the hell are you wearing? No. I. Uh... Bye-bye. Oh. Weird. Okay, so let's go into the Chamber of Hope. I've never heard of this one. Although I probably have, actually. I don't actually know too much about this place. Oh. Okay, let's see what the Magical Flare does against these guys. Oh my god, that is potent! Okay, we've got a Dire Wolf right here. They are pretty frustrating. Not Dire Wolf, uh, probably Hellhounds, right? Okay, let's try for the uh, better skills with our arrows. Why? I don't see any reason to, Jax. You do you. You do you and I'll be me. Okay, we'll try Hunter Bolt. Boom! Yep, that is potent. Okay, gonna fire another few of these. Done! And any more? Yep, there's a couple more. Okay, that guy landed a real big attack on me. Hopefully he's not gonna eat me. He did not. Jax has had a go at him. Go! Guys, I'm on fire. What are you doing? Strength in numbers, okay, good. They should get me up now. What is this? Model fur? Hellhand Fang. Okay, we know what they're called now. They're called Hellhounds. Let's get words. our bow back out. Because it's it, it is going to scale to be the best weapon we have by a long, a long mile. All right, what's in here? This is a goddess cameo. That's going to buff our magic? No, defenses for a wee while. I wonder what's inside. What? Yeah, his, health, his voice is actually changing. That is such a weird bug. Okay, balmy incense. That's what we found. There's another door at the end of here. I don't know what could be on the other side. It could be pain. It could be death. Only one would find out. The Chamber of Hope. Okay, we're in another kind of like top lane area. A little bit oh, of a shame. God. Okay, let's try for another magical flare. Really? Oh, piss. That's not good. <laughs> That's bad, actually. Okay, uh, let's try for another magical flare. He's going to pounce on us, I think. Yep. 15 HP. Nice. Literally one hit as soon as we got in here. That sucks absolute ass. Okay, let's try for another magical flare. We'll see what it does. Boom. It did uh, next to nothing, actually. It's a little bit frustrating. Let's try for a Hunter Bolt, see what it does. It's got a little, it's got a lot of areas kind of like target. Uh, not as potent as I was hoping. Okay, let's get away from that. Uh, we'll get our bow out and we'll wait for that spell to dissipate. We'll try for the snake's head. Yes, I know. Okay, good. Uh, Val just got hit by that spell, which was Exequy, I think, which kind of like purges uh, pawns or anything that's standing in it. Okay, let's stop with that. We're dead. <laughs> There was no way of defending against that. There was literally no way of even knowing that was going to happen. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll try again. Now, against Gore Chimera, fire is actually really, really good. So we probably, instead of using this, want to use... Engle, right? Probably want to try for Engle. Okay, that's not amazing. Yes, I see that. Boom, boom, boom. That did absolutely zero damage. Uh, a little bit of uh, uh, annoying. Skeleton sorcerer. I am Is it me? Surely I'm not the one dealing that damage. No, that was Jax. That was easily Jax. Guys, go! What are you doing? Don't get distracted by the sorcerer. Oh, they're asleep. That sucks. Sucks to be them. Alright, let's go get... Uh, Scarby's getting up. Okay, good. Uh, good shot there, buddy. Not quite on the hit, though. Okay, I've aggroed those two, which is great. Okay, probably don't want to be hit by whatever that is. And now we want to go ahead and aggro against this guy. There is a skeleton right behind me. He's not doing anything, though. Okay, good. And this guy is next. Excellent, took him out. Uh, let's go ahead and just... Oh, my God, look at all of them. Sweet Jesus. We probably could do with uh, putting, like, a purge or something down here. Like the big holy light of some sort. Maybe the staircase is where we beat the Gorkai Mirror. Because I know they really struggle to kind of like navigate this area. Okay, got another few of the skeletons down. Good, done. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the bone. Okay, more skeletons. Jesus. Is this chamber literally just kind of like, hey, let's spam magic while you fight a Gorkai Mirror? 
Okay, I think I just got poisoned let's real potent. Uh, let's go ahead and take this guy out. All for one and for good. Giant coin pouch, love it. What else has he got? Celebrus brew, perfect. Okay, they sh this guy should be really, really powerful though. Val is literally up its ass. Gross, I don't want to see that. There's another sack of money right in front of it. I don't really want to... No, 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 no. We want to... No, we... no, 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 no. I want to fire a combustion. Right here. We want to fire this off. Right underneath it. Because I think he's kind of like stuck in here a little bit. Boom! That was not powerful. And now he's aggroed onto us. Okay, let's run. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Okay, we've fallen down. That's annoying. Refreshment is in order. I don't think I've ever heard that voice line. Where are you going? Okay. Everyone say bye to the nice gore chimera. Oh, there's another celebrous brew. That's full health, by the way. Nice. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it healed. Okay, let's get that giant sack of coins. And there's got to be more things up here that we could probably pinch, right? Okay, not really. What about this? Oh, one of them dropped a wake stone shard. Good God, those skeleton sorcerers are really valuable. All right, where is it? They've done a lot of damage to it already. Okay, let's not stand on the edge just in case the Gorkheim area ends up being behind us. What the hell is that? I just found a gigantic warhammer. The dragon's prescience. I'll take care of the weak. Wow. Uh, what do you mean, you'll take care of the weak? Oh, I can actually see it healing now, which is not amazing. Is it down there? There it is. Okay, let's go ahead and fire off a commission. Just down, or not. Did that hit it? Nope, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, hello. There it is. No, hold the go. Go, everybody. I'll have a look around. That's right, Jax. Heading you out. take out that Gorkai mirror. Good boy. Okay, that's not good. I don't know you what were. it just cast, but it looked painful. Well them. Okay. I'm going to start firing. I'm just going to start firing randomly. It'd be nice if we had, like, holy affinity or any kind of affinity too. spell right here, but we don't. Go! Begin with the Two arms. Okay, he has literally just created a wall of death in front of him right there. Oh! That was a bit of damage, whatever that was. I think that was me. I think I did that. Uh, le yeah, let's actually aim for the head. Let's aim. Let's do exactly what the game says and aim. There we go. I lit the goat's head on fire. I wasn't really paying attention to how much damage it did, though. Let's try again. What do you mean you've been drenched? Did it cast water or something? Okay, I'm firing. I'm looking at the damage. It wasn't amazing, honestly. I've seen better damage. I'll scale it. Let's try Levin. While it's distracted. I live in now. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Thundercrack. Uh, okay. Defeating the goat's head makes a chimera wild. That's nice. I thought it was about to fall off the ledge there real quick. Okay, let's start attacking the goat's head. Let's make this guy wide. The snake's head is not able to actually hit us because he's not close Stay enough. It's pretty funny. Uh, I'm not doing any damage to the goat's head, so I'm, I'm just going to stop trying. Let's try for a Levin against the goat's Strike head. Boom! Oh, that did lots! Let's try that again. Oh, no. And we're dead. <laughs> okay, let's use a single wake stone, but we won't be too greedy with the wake stone usage. Technically, we've only used one wake stone so far. Let's also start closing the gap and using the geometry to our advantage too. I think it might be a good idea. Okay, Scarby is asleep. That's not amazing. Jax is probably going to get her up. Never mind, Jax is uh, too worried about himself now. Okay, I can aim for literally anything that is not the goat's head. I'm trying. I am literally trying my best. Okay, we're going over here now. <laughs> this is so cheesy. I don't know if this is like intended. Let's be rid of the serpent first. Okay, I think he's coming after us next. Let's go over here. It just really throws geometry. No, I'm not using a wake stone on that. What was that garbage? He literally just swiped and hit me. I didn't even think he could close that gap. Honestly, I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay, let's leave here because we probably don't have enough skills to do this. If we were a mage or a sorcerer, we would probably stand a pretty good chance, but we aren't either of those things, unfortunately. And I know we lost a lot of resources with all those skeletons, but we need to kind of like... We need to go through here progressively now that we are on a different vocation. 
if we kind of like lose out a little bit, that's absolutely fine. We don't have to continue on as we are continuing on. All right, nothing down here. This is just going to be teleport to the entrance now. And now that we come down here, let's try for, I don't know, like topside, I suppose. Got to be one over here, right? Oh, yeah, here it is. Good. Let's try this one. Let's see what this one is. I'm going to skip that cutscene from now on as well. Okay. So down here, it's also kind of funny that all these platforms are flat because the Everfall, when we went down it, there were lots and lots of rounded staircases. So it's kind of strange that there aren't any of those anymore. What is this place? Oh, this is the Chamber of Remorse, Scabby. Can you not read? No one taught you how to read? That's fine. I went easy for it. All right. What darkness lurks in here? I sense a skeleton boss fight. I don't know why. I just do. Okay, let's go up here, fill out this area on the map. All right, there is a door behind there, but I don't think that we can access it necessarily. There's got to be a way to access all of those closed off doors, right? It can't just be like, they are a door. Okay, I'm suspecting skeletons. In fact, no, it's not skeletons. Okay, everybody, go, start looting. Let's see what's in there. Jax has found a... Secret Sovna. Scarby found white wine. Good for her. Val found a jewel of health. Good for her. Scarby has another chest right beside her. She has found herself a ring of Argent. The hell is that? And what about this, this one, Scarby? Interesting. Yeah, see what's in it. What is it? A decoction of Bandalily. Wow, I couldn't begin to describe how much I do not care about that last one. Okay. So in here. Oh, that was so close. I almost just wailed on the, uh, on this pawn. Hello. Hello, Vince. That's my name. Weird. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi. Okay, can't hire them. Oh, hello there. Hello. Oh, cool. There's an archer, two archers, and a mage. I Good feel day. like this may actually be either his bodyguards or, like, another well, party. Hello, Joy. With a dying breath, my mistress bade me stay here. Good for her. And so this pawn lingers, that the meager offerings I've collected may serve future Arisen on their path. Choose as you will, sir. Okay, let's go ahead and buy some crap. What crap are you selling? Petrifact. Wow. Oh, wow. He's actually selling some pretty good stuff here. Dragon scale. Yes, please. Slick black pinion. Yes, please. Those are really hard to get. Petrifactor, also uh, kind of annoying to get. Dappled ore, kind of annoying. We could probably just buy it all, honestly. Yeah, okay, we'll buy it all. Done. Uh, let's go ahead and come down here. Oh, these are all overpowered weapons. The Carnation is pre-Bitter Black Isle, Bitter Black Isle qualifier. I know that's a lot of words, but essentially uh, this is kind of the weapon that everybody wants when they go into Bitter Black Isle because it kind of like gives you the best chance as a sword and board fighter. What have we got here? Frigid Finger? Jesus, that is potent. It's so much more potent than what we've got. But I... Oh, does he have... He doesn't have a magic bow. That's pretty much the only thing he's missing. This guy is very lucrative. We could probably go for the frigid finger. We don't use the bow too much at the moment. Dragon's Pain. That would be really good for Scarby, I think. We're going to, like, got out of here, went into Scarby. This would give us some really meaty daggers, but we would have to sacrifice the utility of the frozen daggers. Okay, so it doesn't really look like there's anything else for us here. What the hell is this? A diadem. Jesus! Jesus! It increases our magic by 12, which is actually no small number. It's also a crimson plate. That's for fighters. Twilight Manicay. That is probably for Scarby. Can Scarby use these? Yes! But they don't look very nice. There's also Grizzly Greaves, which look sick. They look so cool. Maybe we can give them to Scarby. Who knows? And there's also, uh, we could probably take a look at these rings, right? Because we need something to resist petrifaction. Ring of Argent, that's not helpful. None of this is helpful, actually. None of these give us the uh, defenses we that we necessarily want. So we probably want to get ourselves, because we are the most active combatants, we probably want to get ourselves a decent staff, don't we? Even if it costs us literally all of our money. We have three grand now. We literally have 3,000 buckery boots. That is bugger all. Okay, we've got a bunch of crap in our inventory. Uh, let's see what's through here. We are completely over-encumbered, by the way. We can probably throw out the weapons we're never going to use again. Let's do that, actually. Let's go ahead and throw out the weapons we are never going to use again. 
These two staves, the unfettered claw, that can get thrown on the ground where it belongs, and this here crimson glare can get thrown on the ground where it belongs, and that'll whack us down a weight level so that we can kind of be a little bit more mobile. I'm going to be right back, by the way. I'm going to take a quick minute to do a biological break because I've been drinking lots and lots of water, and that is the consequence of staying hydrated. What's that? Don't go anywhere. I'm literally going to be right back. In fact, I can probably actually talk to you while I'm over here. But what about? Even in numbers, a weakling is a weakling still. Golem! Leave these to me. I leave the weak first. Her strike shall be mine. It's weak against fire, same as its cousins. I think we want to go back to the base game as well. Simply because we didn't necessarily get Scarby her gloves of mine. Which is probably why she's not climbing enemies as much as I'd like her to. They're a threat when well unified. Also gonna have a have to level her up pretty crazy to actually get her as a grappling wrestling. Because she needs a lot of base strength. However, I don't want her as warrior because it's not a fun class to play with. It sucks. Okay. Oh, that's unsurprising. I wonder what happened. All right. Let's not use a wake stone. We are literally going to spawn in the doorway, and then I'll kind of like see what's going on. All right. The chamber of remorse. Uh, what is in here? Probably something that flies, right? Or a couple of doggos. Maybe one of those two. Put some music on. Okay, uh, let's just, okay, it was just a couple of little yucky goblins. Wow. A golem, really? Okay, let's start firing away. I'm actually going to get the bow mode out, because this guy is a pain in the ass. And we should be, a okay, actually, I'll just quickly check something, just to make sure that, uh, I'm not supposed to pick up Yintzet or something like that. Okay. It doesn't seem like I do. Perfect. Good. I'll fire the game back up. Here we are. So, here's what we are dealing with. We are dealing with a bunch of uh, goblins and also a single golem who's probably going to explode the field while we're trying to, like, use it, which is a little bit of a shame. There we go. There's the explosions. Okay, let's start just firing these off into the crowd. Even though, actually, if we use our staff... We'll probably do significantly more damage, because now we've got a, a kind of an overpowered staff, don't we? I'm trying to... Okay, we died. We got one hit by whatever the hell that thing is. No, I don't want to use a wake stone. That is a complete and utter waste. We just don't want to get hit. It's pretty much as simple as that. We just don't want to get hit. All right, let's go ahead and try for... I don't know. Ingle? Grim Goblin! No way! Not a grim goblin. All right, Val's probably going to take care of that first one. Uh, or not. I'm surprised that didn't explode. Let's fire away. Good, we got one of them. Uh, probably want to try for a commission around this corner here. Like right here, because that's where I see everybody else is. Okay, good. I think I lit one of them on fire. Good, Scarby took out that one. So she's competent enough to. Let's go ahead and try and... Well, Scarby's actually doing a real good job with those little guys. Okay, let's cross over here, try not to blow up in the process. 
I'm gonna take all of this money and all of this loot because I I, I, I want it. Okay, I see them running around. Damn, that was close. Uh, I'm just gonna fire away. No. Didn't land. What about this guy? Okay, good, one more. Got it. Sorry, Val, I stole your kill, but it's absolutely fine, isn't it? I think that's all for the goblins. Good. Okay. So, I can't actually do any major attacks here. I, I think I can attack at the magic metals. I'm not entirely sure if they deal any damage, because they are magic. I'm going to keep on trying regardless, just in case we can kind of, like, fire them off. But even if Jax has to climb on top of him and just jump all over him, that should be fine. Should be fine even still. Leave it to us. Okay, I'm staying here. Good, good going, Jax. Val, don't even bother with that. Come off it. Okay, that's an attack. We don't want to be hit by that. Jax is jumping every single one of them. Never mind, he got hit. And he's on fire. Oh well. Such is life. Okay, good. I, yeah, I can hear a couple of the discs getting hit, but I can't quite, like, see it. Again, I don't really know if we're actually doing any damage. Oh, there's one on his back there. Go, Jax! Okay, I am doing a little bit of damage. Got a Wakestone Shard right there. Perfect. Don't mind filching that. What do you mean you're poisoned? What the hell poisoned you? How? Where are you? Scabby? I think she's on the other end of the bridge. Oh, she's in the doorway. I think it was a goblin. I think a goblin threw something at her. Okay, I think I'm doing a little bit of damage, but it's not actually, like, a lot. Jax is saying it's over, and yet it still stands. All right, Jax is probably the best chance of getting him down on the ground. Good. Yeah, there's not really a lot I can do here, to be honest. We still have that uh, kind of request to kill a bunch of golems, though. So, probably going to be in our best interest to do so. I'm going to attack. At this thing right here. No, it definitely doesn't do any damage. Okay, at least we know. At least we know. What about this? What about magical flare? Do you think this will work? Okay, let's move around here and fight. No, I don't think it did anything. Ah, well, it was, it was a nice attempt anyway. Go! Jax, you know you have to go after the medals. Why are you hitting him in the ass? Why are you spanking him? Okay. Don't really want to get hit by uh, his attacks. Okay, I'm trying to grab onto him. And now we are going to go ahead and just like fire into his into his back right here. Okay, I'm, 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 am I on bow mode? Is that what's going on? Okay, that did nothing. I feel, I feel like magic is virtually worthless in this instance. Go, go! Go, go! Go, guys! Grim Goblin arisen! That is not the biggest threat right now. Wait, who's dead? Is it Val? Oh, it is Val. That's fine. Val can die. That is her sole purpose in life. Okay, I didn't want to be hit by whatever was going to happen. I feel like there's one on top of his head that we could probably actually assault. Pretty well. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Explosions? I see a giant sack of money over there. Okay, I'm going to attack it on top of its head in case it's like got no magic resistance or anything like that. Okay, good. Let's keep on attacking this right here. Go! Why the hell are you guys not like jumping onto it? What are you doing? Horns! I'm certain you were smarter than that every time I was playing this game. Go! What is wrong with you? Just do it! It's not that hard! Okay, I'm gonna jump onto his bum bum. If only I could like reach his lower back with this attack right here. Because I act I can't. I can't reach the attack. What if we just like try a maybe a high commission? Try this right here. It did nothing. Go! Attack the discs, you idiots! Okay, Scarby is actually doing a targeted assault against the thing on the back right here. Good. Excellent. Nice. Oh, I thought that a magic metal would fall off so we could actually take it as kind of like loot, but it seems as though there's no loot here to, to be taken. 
That's a shame. How can we stop such I hope a it drops a bunch of wake stone shards or something, because otherwise there's no point in fighting it. I suppose we do get the um, the experience. Go, Scarby! Don't jump off! What is wrong with you? What are you doing? Oh, good. Another! One more! Wait, wait stop. Wait, wait, uh, okay. I am literally speechless. Okay, she's just firing at its legs. Yes, I can see it's gone mad. It's because you've knocked off most of its bits. Why are you shooting in the face? It's got one very obvious part that you should be attacking, Scarby. She just face tanked two of those uh, foot stomps, by the way. Okay, she's not going to fall off the ledge there. <laughs> well, when you're wrong, you're wrong. Right, when you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> okay. I could probably grab that pot and then throw it at that dickhead. Oh. He fell down. And he died of... Oh my god, how embarrassing. So weary. Why is she asleep? What the hell could have done that? Okay, for some reason, I am super slow. Alright, let's go down the staircase and let's see what... That's not a staircase. This is a, uh, a loot room. Perfect. What's this? This is a wakestone shard. Perfect. We got a wakestone. Nice. We didn't waste anything either. The hell was that? Is that a cyclops? It cyclops? With one upon its leg. That's definitely a cyclops. Okay. Uh, we actually have a spell for this. Good. <laughs> Excellent. It should have dropped its cudgel. It didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and try this again. Yep, done. Yeah, I know. That was me. I did that. Okay, we're really, really tired. Probably because we're carrying like 60 kilos of crap. Alright, good. We can probably jump down here, right? Yeah, we can jump down here. Okay, good. Oh! Hello, goblins. Oh no, they're calling reinforcements. Piss. Piss and poos, that's not good. Let's go ahead and just inflame them. Done. Good. That killed them both. Or all three of them. We'll see. Let's try for Levin again. Val is dead. That's uh, fine. She literally has no other purpose in life. Oh, as long as he's looking up, we can do lots of damage. Just look up. Look up again, my dude. Look up. Good. Done. Okay, that was a bar and a half of his health. Pretty cool. He's been knocked over. That's hilarious. Uh, good. Oh, piss off. Oh, no. <laughs> that was very close. These uh, hobgoblins. I think they're attacking me. <laughs> Somehow, I think, I think I may have upset them. I think I may have said something to have, uh, you know, potentially upset the hobgoblins. Okay, let's try for another comestion right underneath this here big bastard. And we'll try and also hook it onto that goblin right there. Damn, he ran away. Okay, we got one more vocation ramp. We probably... Oh, Jesus, Jax, that was awesome. He parried something while it was in mid-air, knocked it back into the sky, and then killed it. Okay, the leader is throwing things. Good, thank you, Jax. Everyone, start looting. I think that should be it, right? What's that? Jax found a fairy stone. That's literally the only thing we wouldn't have picked up ourselves. Uh, he found a small coin patch. Oh, what, is that. that helmet just like giving him massive tunnel vision or something? There's a wake stone over here, I think. What's I'll take this? that. Yoink. And yoink. another wake stone. Perfect. Love it. You love to see it. You love to see it. I don't think they're picking up any of the useful stuff. Uh, it looks like someone picked up the giant sack of money. Finally. I was waiting for someone to pick up the giant sack of money. I mean, that, that was literally the thing I wanted them to pick up. What is this? Empty flask? Useless. Okay, we probably actually want to go and get more spring water, don't we? We're probably really low on spring. Oh. Okay, we've got some more goblins over here. And they're running away. That's fine. You do you, little goblins. Okay, Val is... I thought she was taking initiative, but it seems like she's not. Go, well. everybody. Aggress! We are really heavy, by the way. Okay, I'm going to go at a distance here with the spell bow, because in crowds, they're kind of annoying. Okay, this actually does a pretty good amount of damage. Good. Well, uh, kind of like considering the potency of our current spell set. Okay, good. It's another one. Got him. Excellent. There's another few over here. Let's try for the quantity of enemies rather than the quality. 
Okay, that guy is blowing up his horn. That's disgusting. Ew. When was the last time he washed it? I bet he's getting lots of, like, spittle in his mouth from that horn because he doesn't, like, clean it or anything like that. That's what makes goblins disgusting. What? It wasn't stone. He was throwing flasks of water, you oaf. All right, there was a blood decanter. There's an ebon blade piece here. They're pretty in-game resources. I'm going to take this here giant coin pouch. I'm also going to take this here night terror's horn. This here small uh, pouch. This uh, king warish. And this giant coin pouch right here too. There's also another coin pouch over here. Okay, Jax, you want to grab that for me? Thank you. Excellent. We've already got 90 grand. We've almost got 100 grand. Remember how in the last room we spent all of our money, aside from 3,000 bucks, on just a staff, which we're not even really using anymore? That's pretty funny. All right, now that we have cleared this area, I think it's pretty safe to say that we can go back, can't we? I don't see any magic metals. I don't even think that that wanker, the gigantic wanker with the eyes of uh, beams of... Are you all right, master? Yeah, I'm fine. Of fire, I don't think he dropped anything. You know, at least anything useful. No, no, anything. I don't think he dropped anything. Uh, we still need to go in there, see what's through there. What is it? Is that a light cure? Don't make me grab it. Fine, I'll grab it. I don't even know what that does, <laughs> to be quite honest. It might be like anti-silence or anti-something like that. Okay, what's in here? Just a closed door? All right, that's fine. Nothing through here that we can really use to our advantage. Let's go back up the staircase that we didn't go up last time. We'll explore the other side of the mezzanine floor, and then uh, maybe we'll leave here. We'll see what vocation skills we just unlocked, because we could have unlocked some really, really good ones, like Ricochet Hunter. I am definitely holding out for Ricochet Hunter. That is such a cool set of skills. Okay, here we are. We're also really, really uh, heavy, so we probably want to go topside anyway and drop off a bunch of crap. We probably got our inventory full of crap. We've got crap coming out the ass. All right, this is the mezzanine floor that we didn't explore. Let's go this way first. Through here. Anything? Oh, nothing. Ha, ha, ha. Be still my beating heart. Okay, we'll come over this way. And now... What else are we looking at? Still nothing? Ah, you shouldn't have. Oh, game, you really shouldn't have. I swear, you literally shouldn't have. It'd be kind of nice, right, if you get to the end game and there were some gates that were just closed because you were playing on easy or normal, and in hard mode they were just all open and they all opened into, like, these heinous tests of, um, of attrition with the enemies. Okay, I don't know if I can store my items with the shop vendor on the other side of this door, but I am willing to try. Hello, sir. Okay, good. Uh, we can sell a bunch of stuff. I want to sell a bunch of stuff, actually. we got lots of a couple of bits of crap that we don't necessarily want. Dragon Sale, definitely want to keep that. Evil Eyeball, those are expensive. Malachrist, those are really expensive, but surprisingly, I would have thought that they Choose as you will. I'm ever were rarer, because you get a bunch of them. Maybe when we fight the Evil Eyeball, and we're going to have to go topside anyway, because we can't me. deposit our stuff, we're probably going to have to go and fight Evil Eyeballs and just pick up literally everything that drops. What's in here? Nothing. We have to go this way. All right. Scarby's doing great. Jack's doing great. Val? Yeah, she's doing great. We're actually getting to the point now where Val is probably actually underleveled for what we need her for. And Jack's also used to be like infinite level, like level 200. That's the max level you can get in the game. Used to be level 200, but uh, when he corrupted, he got reset to level 1, so I have to rebuild him as a character. I'm probably just going to set him as a fighter forever. Oh, we jumped off here with no stamina. That's pretty funny. So we want to go all the way over this way, I think. We want to go to the top side railing, which is right over here. Boop. Almost just hit my face on that as well. Glad I just entered oh. that cutscene. Hello there, Quince. Rotten hell. I hope she's doing okay, actually. You never ask. You never ask whether or not they're doing okay. You only just assume that they are because they're NPCs. This will return us to the surface. Excellent. All right, good. Let's do a little bit of a wiggle all the way up here. We only have to do it to Esalam, who should actually be in the building that we're just about to enter. I'm pretty sure that's why he was put in the building as well. 
and like his his inn wasn't just kind of like built out into the ledge. That looks pretty crazy. All right, we've got a couple of notice boards here. Nothing here. Those are all the uh, items that we have to locate. I'm looking for the uh, kill X amount of enemies boards. Because there's no maximum that you can take for those. Nothing here. Might want to go to the encampment then, in that case. Okay, let's go ahead and deposit everything that we don't want, like uh, this potent green water, because it's kind of heavy, actually. And what else we got? We got a fairy stone, sundering spear, goddess cameo, which we didn't use hilariously. Let's go ahead and deposit all of these materials because they're really heavy. And what else we got? We got the badge of merit. Secret to Seeker's token. We got one of these. Don't really want a lot of those. We got eight of those stones, wake stones, which is pretty awesome. What else we got? Hard leather plate. Get rid of that, of course. And of course the cotton hose, and we don't ever want to see that ever again. We're still pretty heavy. I think it's probably got to be the wake stones, right? How heavy are these? Oh, it's not actually. I think it's actually our equipment. All right, let's go ahead and deploy these rusted daggers. And we also got a ring of argent, which is holy element, apparently. Let's go to decoction of bandolily. Drink it to improve magic defenses for a limited time. That's useless. Bastard wing. Okay, these are all good things that we want to keep. What else we got? Val is an ebon blade piece. She's really been letting the team down when it comes to just picking things up. What else she got? She's got a silver ring, again, useless. Jax has Strong Warish and Secret Softener, which he can keep because he'll probably be petrified at some point. Very Stone Flask of Oil, he can get rid of. All of these materials as well. He's actually pretty light. We probably don't need to de-equip him too much. Okay, good. And let's go ahead and... Oh, we also want to talk to him about the skills too. Vocation skills. Learn his skills. We'll learn some because we might have some new ones. High Frazzle, yuck. Is that all? Okay, Magic Bow. Sixfold Bolt. An advanced form of threefold bolt that fires still more arrows. Yes, we want that. Ricochet Seeker, finally! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this one for so long. Yes, we want to change our enabled skills. On the magic boat, we're going to get rid of the... Magical Flare. It's kind of annoying. Actually, we don't want it on that slot. We probably want it on the Hunter Bolt slot. Then we want to set the Hunter Bolt to the E key. Because oh, that'll be one today? that we can Have kind of like big? fire off while we're sure. really far away from the enemies. So that we don't need to press a keyboard button to activate it, which would, you know, kind of actually hinder our progress. Okay, so now we also want an excess of wake stones too. We don't just want the one. Now we could probably actually go ahead and just use this eternal fairy stone and go all the way back to Cassidus. And we kind of want to walk in between the areas because of all the billboards that have quests for us. We want to be able to take some of those on. Excellent. All right. We're at the Port Crystal. Uh, there's nothing here for us at Cassidus. It looks like it's nighttime outside. I probably don't... We probably won't have any affinities unlocked either, so I'm just not going to worry about that too much. All right. Let's get our bow mode out. And what do we want to do? Probably Rickish... No. Hunter Bolt. There's only three of them. Serious? That is potent, actually. That is a lot of damage. Okay, let's try that again. Good. We are doing a lot of damage consistently, but I think we had initiative before. I think I... Oh, no, I didn't get the, um, the rabbit. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue firing these off. Maybe we should go down to Better Black Isle. Okay, good. Uh, now that we've got Ricochet Hunter, all of the Everfall is going to be significantly easier for us. Probably wanted to do this in the first place, didn't we? Probably actually wanted to just go and uh, do a little bit of hunting on the trails. Series show? Is that all? Yep. That is all. There is a Gorko Mirror down there. Let's actually save and fight it. Because if it drops Wake Stones, that's profit. And if we die, we just end up back here. Okay, good. Done. And now we're going down. Okay, we've got the sixfold arrow as well, which is pretty good against enemies like this. Let's climb and leap as we must. Good. We'll and let's go ahead and fire place. off a sixfold, I think. Right against the middle of it, too. Yep, that was a lot of damage, actually. Holy hell. Let's just spam these. Excellent. That's a bar of health down. Let's continue spamming this. Uh, stamina is absolutely doing wonders. Oh my god. Look at this damage. The sweetest of Jesuses. 
All right, someone needs to get me up. Perhaps we'll find all or not. among the crowds that litter this place. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Okay, so we've got the Gore Chimera finally coming over here with a bar and a hell of his HP left. Oh, my God. Sucks to be you, buddy old pal. Let's keep on firing it at the goat. Because I the think that's probably going to be the highest alive. damage, right? Or maybe at the snake. Okay, it wasn't too helpful. Hold on. No one's getting me back up. Okay, he's fallen over. That's pretty funny, actually. I have a look around. Very well. I love how we're doing this at range. There may be here. Let me see. Okay, let's go ahead and start firing at him. Do a little bit of damage from range. I think we may have just had kind of like the ability to cheese him from range. I think that's what we were using. His snake head is gone as well, which is very funny. Okay, now we are going to be using the six volt halt, uh, six volt halt right here. Excellent. A little bit of damage. Not a lot of damage, though. All right, we've become the DPS, which is pretty funny because Scarby is actually um, supposed to be the DPS. She's the rogue. I'm literally a mage. I'm supposed to be healing, honestly. Okay, one more. No, what the hell? Where, where the hell did he come from? What? I just got nipped. I just got nipped by a dog who shouldn't have even been here. It's because it's nighttime. It's probably because it's nighttime, right? All right, let's try the, the uh, Hunter Bolt. Hunter Bolt might be... Oh, we got him. Nice. Is that two Gore Chimeras killed? I think that was the thing we picked up, right? All right, everyone, go and pick up that loot. Okay, that dog has come back to annoy us. Let's go ahead and just... um. Try and get him from range, Perhaps I suppose. Because he's really annoying. Place. Guys, you want to come pick up this loot, maybe? This oh, really wait, wait. valuable loot? Okay, I'll go. I got it. Don't worry, guys. I'll over-encumber myself Anytime. further. Just to pick up this loot that you guys realistically should have been picking up. Alright, here he is again. Uh, let's keep on firing our magic bow at him. Because apparently this is doing heaps of damage. And maybe not like heaps and heaps of damage, but it's definitely doing more damage than the staff's basic attack. I take that back completely. The staff's basic attacks were actually very potent too. Good, he died. He was very skinny actually. I don't think he was going to survive regardless of what happened. Okay, let's come up here. We're apparently regenerating health. Oh, I think that was the uh, armor that we're wearing. What's that? That is a goblin. Okay, let's attack it. Good defense, my dude. I think Jax will like blink strike him, right? Yeah, there we go. Good. Whoa, Scarby. Look at it go. Good. Scarby's actually getting uh, quite a lot better at combat. Got to be said. Significantly better at combat. Okay, good. We got a coin pouch. We also got a small coin pouch. What are? Oh, there are more goblins? Is that what you're talking about? Yep, not anymore. I suppose they were a threat when well unified, but not so much now. Okay, the sky is still all rotting and gross. And we're approaching the first kind of like landmark where we can pick up some quests. Grant Soren looks really cool in this lighting though. Look at that. Look at that. It's hard to believe that from here. Like, you would assume that that would just be like the last bastion of of civilization but it's actually an absolute mess it's probably the worst bastion of civilization all right we'll come through here we're a little bit tired but this should be a stamina free zone should be fine yes it is excellent okay i wonder if these guys because these guys wouldn't have heard anything from the cat the castle right except for uh wow look at this guy except for uh yeah the arisen's a bit of a traitor so you know kill on sight all that stuff all right, what are we seeing here? Dark Knights, defeat five skeleton knights. Wow, that's simple. An airborne plague, defeat eight snow harpies. Sure. Defeat ten seabirds. Okay. Two metal golems. Sure, put to the test. Defeat. Defeat Sir Burn. For a graphic gold. Okay, fine. Let's do that. Let's do that now. Is that here? Oh, it's shut tight. Sir Burn? Sir Burn, where are you? Let's go find Sir Burn. Oh, this place is. Hello there, Sir Burn. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to have a fight? Well done. Tis a success. I'll not dispute. But know that your true test begins now. I shall be your opponent. You need spare me no concern. Do your worst, sir. Okay, I'm ready. You're going the wrong way, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I railed him. 
Oh my god. He got railed. Fortunately, there's actually a little location here that we can use to deposit our crap as well. Just in here. I don't think it's this guy. I think it's this fella right here. He'll actually accept a... Or not, he just sells stuff. Oh, he sells all of the porn inclination stuff. That's nice. I don't care, though. This guy, Montebank, right? Ekbal, okay. Let's go ahead and deposit our stored items, because we just picked up a bunch of really heavy crap, and our companions refused to. Griffith Gold? God, I wish we had that when Scarby was a warrior. What else we got? Uh, not a hell of a lot, actually. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty happy with this, so we could probably look around for more quests to pick up, but I don't really think there's gonna be any. Aside from that board we already took a look at. Excuse me, weird looking nightman. Onion knight. Literally onion knight. Okay, let's come through here. Now we are going to go through the canyon, which is going to be a little bit treacherous, and if we get too frustrated, we can dip. We can dip and we can go uh, to Grand Sorin. Okay. It's also nighttime. <laughs> this is literally the hardest area that uh, we could go through. Oh, undead! There's undead! Giant undead! Ah, oh, good shot, Val. Yeah, that was effective, wasn't it? Okay, we'll come through here. Or maybe we just want to go straight up to the... What? Kia! Oh! You're serious? I shall take on the strong. Oh my god, no way. Oh, come on. Seriously? We've got hellhounds everywhere. Literally everywhere. Okay, Jack's being dragged off, but that's absolutely fine. Guys, you want to, like, I don't know, help? What are you doing? Okay, I'm going to fire on this dog right here. Because it does damage. Or not. Good, I'm hurting uh, through the bush right here. Let's wait and see what they Let's go ahead and die. just fire on these fellas right over here. They are damn fast, though. I see why they're called hellhounds. It's like every time you see them, you're like, oh, hell. Okay, here's that succubi they were talking about. Okay, missed every single one of those. Completely whipped it. Oh, hello. Oh, good shot, Scarby. It stunned him. Or did it? Yeah, it did stun him. It didn't actually do any damage. Giant coin pouch! Very nice. Uh, now, I'm not going to deal with any of this crap. I'm going to go ahead and just use the <laughs> Eternal Fairy Stone. We're going to go back to Grand Sorin. I'm not dealing with that! That's a mess. This place is a mess. I'm not worrying about that crap. Okay, so now that we're here, let's go on the final stretch for farming up some goodies. Oh, someone just found a gigantic coin pouch. What? <laughs> Where did you find that, Jax? Good grief. All right, we'll come through here, and now we should be in a really, really good spot to continue onwards. Probably should have set ourselves as Magic Archer when we fought the dragon, so we got some really, really good gear, but I think what we've got now is actually not that bad. Okay, good, and uh, I'm going to go into whatever this is next. Boop. Good. Have you ever played Dead Cells? I've never heard of it. Quirty Pies. Quir Pies? Quir Pies? I think Quir Pies. Yeah, probably Quirp Eyes. No, I've never place? heard of it. Is it any good? Uh, is it like a roguelite? Maybe I've seen it around. Uh, we've never been down here either. Let's go ahead and just loot everything. Scarby's overly keen. Yeah, go and see. What is it? Liquid Vim? Worthless. Ooh, Geosaurians. Great. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Okay, now we have Ricochet Seeker. So we'll try this out. So every time this bounces off the walls, it actually grows in damage. Okay, not amazing here, gotta be said. Not, not, mm. maybe Hunter Bolt would be better down here? Oh yeah, that's, that's gonna be potent. Yes, this is good. Okay, we'll just launch these and hope we knock some tails off, right? Okay, I'm mashing E. There's also one still up on the, Never mind. <laughs> Someone just knocked him off the wall. Okay, let's go ahead and just start firing at this guy's tail. Maybe we can knock it off. But until then, they are invisible. They are literally invisible. Okay, this is not doing a hell of a lot. Maybe it's physical. Maybe maybe physical is actually the, the trick. Okay. They pointed at me. That's not good. That does nothing. Okay, I actually dodged that attack as well. Pretty cool. 
Let's start firing on this tail right here. Good, we got one, so Jax can blink strike cheese him down to death. Or I could just keep on attacking him. Good. I'm still attacking the tail of this guy. Excellent. It's a really good one. I'd recommend giving it a go. Pro tip, stick to one color. Brutality red, tactics purple, survival green. I've played for about a week now and I'm really enjoying it. Oh, that is cool. Okay, maybe I'll give it a go. I think I actually have it in my Steam library. I might I might have got it off of a humble bundle. Some time ago. I've just never played it. I, I've got so many games off of humble bundles. I've got so many games that I just haven't played. I got Arkham Knights. I'm going to be giving that one a go uh, pretty soon. I've never played it. A lot of people keep saying it's really, really good, but it looks to me like a bit of a beat-em-up. All right. It does aim to hide itself. Its whole deal is that it's virtually invisible. Let's start using the bow instead. I don't think the basic attack on these stuff is very good. Well, if you do play it, I'll make sure to watch it. Okay, sounds good. I'll put it on the request list. I've got a huge request list up on my Discord, so I'll, I'll add it to that. All right, good. Start knocking all these off. I am something of a strategist. It's pretty cool, actually. It's midnight for me, so I'm ahead to bed, but I enjoyed the stream. Well, I'm glad I could make you smile. That's absolutely fantastic. That's that's all I wanted. You have a great sleep, Quirpies. Okay, so... Yeah, no, I am a, 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 bit, a bit of a puzzle main. I'm really, really good at them. Although, every time I pick up, like, a puzzle box game or something, I've, oh, I always feel cheated. I feel cheated out of an experience, because when I play them, I beat them in, like, half an hour. <laughs> and I paid, like, 20 bucks for them. Always feel a little bit, a little bit awful. See ya! See ya, queer pies. This looks interesting. Okay, we'll grab this gigantic sack of coins right here. God, I didn't even know anyone was here, <laughs> to be honest. I had no idea. I was just kind of talking to myself and articulating as we were going. Okay, so we got out that gigantic... Is there anything over there? No. There was no chests, no nothing. So, this is probably actually a really, really good place to be using the Ricochet, the ricochet Seeker. Right here. We want the Ricochet Bolt. Those things are absolutely fantastic, and they absolutely kick ass. Okay, that bounce was... That was a bad bounce. Let's go ahead and just fire it off there. Oh, that works. Okay, let's just bounce it off the walls then, I suppose. Nice! Oh, that did so much damage. I love it. I actually love that. Nice. Oh, hello there. Okay, let's try this again. We'll use it on the wall behind him. Is this the way? No, it's not. Not a single... Oh, it might actually be. Okay, that was a little bit potent as well. Maybe I just mashed the button. Oh my god, I don't know what that attack was. It might have been Scarby, actually. Okay, we're just going to fire a bunch of these Ricochet Seeker cheese arrows through here. Nice! Scabby nailed that one. Got a giant coin pouch here. We got Snowy Saurian skin, and we don't have any of that yet. Perfect. What else we got? We got nothing. This guy dropped nothing. Oh. Hi, guys! How are we? Let's fire a Ricochet Seeker at him. Actually, let's fire it here, because I know they gain damage as they grow. Oh, hello there! Did that hit me? I just don't know. Okay, good. That was a good attack. I love how Ricochet off of the floor and aggroed all of the enemies who weren't aggroed to us. That is pretty funny. Ah! <laughs> that was so close, he almost actually got us. Alright, let's uh, fire again. These guys are kind of tricky, actually. They're kind of tricky with the Ricochet arrows. Because I know that they're really, really good in closed spaces, but at the same time, it's really hard to kind of, like, bank the shots off of them. I don't know what the hell that guy's doing. Is he casting a spell or something? It probably wasn't like anything useful. Let's fire another one of these like right here, I suppose. There we go. Oh, that, yeah, that's good. I like that. Let's do another one of those. And we'll also do like a six fold. Never mind. It's gone. Okay, we got a Wakestone Shard. Wakestone, nice. Excellent. Oh, we got another. We got a Wakestone Shard over here. Perfect. I don't think we got a Wakestone out of that. Guys, you want to start looting? Just start looting. I don't want to fill up my inventory with any of this crap. I want you guys to fill up your inventory with my crap. Take my crap and put it in your pockets. Hope it doesn't attract flies. What is that? Darkened gloves? I remember them being kind of kind of powerful, actually. Let's see if we can't give these to Scarby. We'll compare them to what she already has right here. Okay. What you got? Darkened gloves. Let's go move to equipment. They're worse... For physical defense, but they're better for magic defense, actually. What is this? Is that petrifaction? Let's see. Uh, 
doesn't say i don't think this is petrifaction i think this is actually like curse or something or binding or something like that i don't think that's petrifaction i actually like whatsoever okay we'll come through here there is another room it seems we are going to see exactly what's in it the chamber of hesitation okay let's not hesitate oh my god yes i love hydra I love Hydra so much. They are so fun to fight. Okay, let's start firing on these here undead because they are pretty flimsy. Probably get through them pretty quickly without aggroing onto the Hydra. Never mind. I just missed one shot and it went straight into the Hydra's face. Okay, I'm going to keep on keeping on with these here undead. Okay, that's definitely gone. So, I don't think this is kind of like one of those albino Hydras. They're like super, super powerful ones. I think that this is more one of the basic the ones. Awesome. Strike. Vocation rank just increased. Let's go ahead and continue increasing this one. I'll cut it and there's the still one more. He's holding a sword, so he has to go down. He is literally more of a threat than the Hydra is. I will take care of the weakest. You guys focus on the strongest. I'll cleave its head free. Yeah, you do that, Jax. You do that. Uh, I'm going to try for maybe a fire barrel. A special? So if I take this fire barrel and I go and I lob it into the mouth as it's attacking me, no, that should be one of the... Oh my god, he just flew off. That should be one of the uh, kind of like requirements. A kind of off. Alright, let's just stand here. If it attacks us, so be it. Alright, the Hydra just grew a head back. God, if only they were known for such a thing. Or even famous for such, a, such an act. Okay. I'm going to try to throw it. Oh, Jax! <laughs> you penis! Damn, this thing's big. Wow, it's literally as big as me. I'm hiding. I am hiding. Uh, let's try the good old ricochet. No. Hunter Bolt. Yes, this will do the trick. This will do the trick nicely. It did nothing. It actually did nothing. But I did try. I did try. It does kind of lock onto a lot of points. I just don't think it's a very powerful skill. Let's try for Ricochet Hunter. It's just the one, but there's lots and lots of points for it to kind of like bank off of. No, that was worthless. That was stupid, actually. Uh, let's just keep on firing six-fold arrows then, I suppose. At the head. At the one Jax is already wailing on. Why did I even bother with that one? Okay, good. And there we go. That did nothing either. Why is it not... Focus on the okay, I don't know what Clear Val's doing. Okay, that one locked on. They are starting to lock on, but the... It's very, very the temperamental. Leave it to us. Okay, let's try for just the bow then. Because it doesn't really conserve stamina or anything like that. And it does do a bit of damage. It does about as much damage as all the other skills. Oh, okay. That's doing quite a bit of damage, actually. Whoa! Two heads just I'll went flying off. Go Jax! Go Jax! Oh, nice. That was me, I think. Okay, go everybody! <laughs> That's right. Quarterize the whole thing. Okay, it's got a head back. Not for long, if I have anything to say about it. Oh, we should have quarterized it ourselves, right? We should have used magic as soon as it as soon as it uh, lost its head. Okay, I'm lo I'm moving. I think Val is probably down. Why does it take the bow mode off? What an asshole! What an asshole! Please help me. This the Scabby, you there. still have green bars of health. Okay, that is one of them gone. Let's go ahead and actually just like, um, whoops. Let's try use Engle. Let's use Engle against its uh, gaping wound, I think. Might be a really good idea. Stop moving, please. Damn it. We were too slow. And it just dodged the attack. That's frustrating. Okay, we used a whole... We used a whole wave stone on this, so we, we may as well actually get the kill, right? Okay, good. We're probably going to get a couple of wave stones against this guy. All right, I'm still moving around the field pretty easily. I'll grab hold of it. Maybe we want to finish the game as soon as possible. Because I think that our choke at this point is actually that we need Fornival, and we sentenced him to death. All right, there we go. That's one down. Go, go! Go, go, Cat! Go, go, Gadget Party! Okay, I think that's another one. 
Yep, that is another us. head. No, it's not actually. This one has to go off. I'll train my blade on its neck. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going another. on with the magic arrows in this instance. But thank God we don't have just like physical arrows, right? That would suck. Okay, good. I'm gonna keep on firing. I got one off. No, Excellent. That was all me as well. Wanted. Just consistent Please, damage over time off. seems to actually do a huge amount of damage. Okay, healing. good. No, and that's another head point. right there. Val is not casting fire, as she should be, to slow down the regeneration of the wounds. What happens actually if you just fire at the wounds? Yeah, what does it do? I think he's getting ready for a tail sweep. Never mind. He was just moving around the field for a little bit of fun, I think. Just stretching out his leg. Because he's only got one. He's only got one leg. Yes, another hit, Scarby. Come on. How long do you think we've been fighting this for? My god, Scarby. What is wrong with you? Okay, good. Let's keep on attacking. And we should just, like, knock off heads as we fight, right? This thing regenerates heads really quickly as well. Okay, Scarby's on that head. Whoops. <laughs> I took out the wrong head. That head did not die well, by the way. It flew off and then landed right on its nose. I would not... Like, if I was put in a guillotine, I'd probably want to be put in the guillotine face upwards. Simply because if I got my head cut off and then I just had to, like, hit my nose on a really, really hard surface, that would probably be insult to injury. And then, of course, the, um, the headsman is picking up the head and showing it to everybody and saying, Oh, oui, oui, we, we took out your head. <laughs> The head of the snake has been cut off. Oh, ha, ha. You know, um, as, as French do. Okay, let's come over here. I love the French, by the way. The way that I look at France is how the rest of the world looks at New Zealand. Just the wackiest stuff happens in France, and I'm there for it. Like, the last time, I think the parliament was trying to increase taxes for agricultural farmers. All of those farmers organized for a bunch of manure to be dumped on the front doors of parliament. Nice! 48,000 experience. Oh, and later, we got them. Good work, guys. Yeah, they dumped a bunch of poo right on the uh, front steps of the French parliament building. I am all for that. That is my kind of spite. Okay, what did it... We need its scales, by the way. Guys, you want to loot it? Please? I dare you. I double-dog dare you all to loot this corpse. So I don't have to do it. Scarby, I dare you. Go and loot something. Do you need a command? Do you need oh, permission? Go and loot it. Jax just took its small coin pouch. That is obviously not what I wanted. Scarby is now carrying a wake stone, a hydro gall stone. There's a bunch of wake stones over here, actually. Oh, this is definitely worth it. Uh, my wake stone. I should actually be carrying all of the wake stones, realistically. Simply because... We need to know how many we have. We need about, like, 25 or so. Okay, we got 11. We got 11 wake stones. But you don't want to take this poison hydrofang? Y'all taking the piss? <laughs> Guys! Guys! Look! Come I'm here! On my way. What do you think this is? Very That's well. right! It's like, no, Jack, it's not the coin pouch! The obvious thing of innumerable wealth! Thank you, Val! God, my. Ah! Frustrating! A lot of you! I'll have a look around. Now go and loot everything else. What is this? Conqueror's Pyrrhips? Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, don't think we can go through here. There's loot up here. All right. Who's going to get it? Probably Scarby, honestly. Scarby seems to be Apex Looter. All right. What is it, Scarby? What have you found? A golden egg! Nice! We need one of those. We can actually make forgeries of those. Hilariously, we can also eat them. They're really expensive to forge, though. So I think what the uh, forger actually does is just paint it gold. And that's it. It's like an actual egg. And it would fool the eyes of any idiot. But it's still a golden egg, in a way, you could you could say. Okay, I don't think we can go out there. No, 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 no. Okay, one more outskirt to loot, and then we're probably back at the entrance, right? There's probably an entrance here. Nope, not there. Right there. Yes, I think this is the entrance. Okay, we're going to leave out of here. We beat a Hydra. That's pretty good. The Chamber of Hesitation. Hopefully it wouldn't take so long that everything else spawned. Probably not, though. That's probably highly unrealistic to have happened. All right, we've done that. Good. And now we want to head out this away. And we should be fine. Excellent. Okay. So. Here's the thing, right? 
we are halfway through. We are halfway through fighting a bunch of just random ass monsters, getting a bunch of these wake stones. We're still in full health hilariously. Maybe we'll try our luck on this one next. I don't think we actually got to the second level. Although this one's looking kind of familiar. Maybe we have been to this one before. Chamber of Remorse? What was this? We have been here. I know we have been here. And the monsters wouldn't have respawned yet. What was in here? Door? Door? Okay, we can go in there. We can't go up there. Right. I don't know what is in here, but I'm pretty sure we've already killed it. Okay, good. No, it was the... It was the vendor, right? It was the vendor. The vendor was in the Chamber of Remorse. I'm going to go down here. Now, we could fight the Ur Dragon now that we're offline. <laughs> we could actually do that. I'm going to do that, actually, if this one is already explored. Chamber of Distress. Is this one explored? No, we've not been here. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I'll take out this really weak-ass wolf. You guys take out literally everything else. This Harpy just sneezed at me. Oh, these are a bunch of weak enemies. I know what the combo is, though. I know the combo is supposed to be Harpy knocks us down, the dire wolf picks us away, and then kind of wails us. Okay, let's go ahead and use this here. Quick time event. Nice. I like those quick time events because it's not, like, dependent on, like, time limits. So they're not so bad. I usually have a massive stick up my ass about, about time limits because they suck ass. Every single time I've seen it implemented in a video game, they have sucked ass. Okay, good. Like, they suck ass like a prolapse machine. Okay, good. Oh, would you look at that? An enemy. What do you mean? There's no harpy. Huh. <laughs> Everyone laughs and snorts. Okay, uh, we'll come out here. There's another snow harpy. It just sneezed on at Scarby. Didn't sneeze on Scarby. Let's go ahead and continue just uh, firing this. Or we could get hit by that. That's absolutely fine as well. Oh, we got a quest. Nice. That's a fairy stone. Sure, I'll take it. Why not? Oh, come off it. Wake. I love how no one's going to help me. We have to get ourselves out of that one. Okay, there is loot over here. I think either Jax or Scarpy. Scarpy's probably going to get it. Treasure, perhaps? No, it's Jax. What is it, Jax? What have you found? Secret softener? Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, at this point in the game, that is probably a crap haul. Right, so let's get our bow out, I think. We should probably be using our bow for a wee while. We'll grab those stairs, I think, on our way back, because there might be a room this way with a boss in it. And we probably want to... Yeah, there probably is, actually. I mean, there is a room that we can go in, so we're going to see what's in here before we go out. This place mm. feels like no other I've known. Oh, no. Stay vigilant, Arisen. That is unironically a dragon. Well, technically a worm, actually. All right, worm, let's fight it. Man. Sure. On my way. Very well. A worm. There. It's a worm. Help me. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of damage uh, while we kind of like run around in circles like an asshole. I'm going to be firing round about where his soft spots are supposed to be. I think it's on his tummy. His weak spot's not his heart, but his tum-tum. Okay, everyone just died. Everybody say thank you to the worm for the mass death, the literal genocide. Yep, and I know he's attacking me because I'm the only one alive to take the hits. What do you mean highest order? We've fought way worse than this, you oafs. Uh, that is Exequy, everybody. Leave that little circle right there or you will die, including you, Val. Val, Val, if you don't get out of that circle, you are going to literally die. Okay, good. She can't jump him. What are you guys doing? Go! Why is this one? Okay, we don't want to be hit by any of those. Good, 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 good. Yes, I am already trying to strike its hole. Okay, Scarby's just learned new techniques against this foe. Oh, great, done. Let's actually take this fire barrel right here, and we'll try and uh, maybe throw this into his chest and see what happens. Here you go, buddy. Oh, what a load of dr damage that was. Holy hell, that was good. Okay, I can't get over him, though. Good. All right. Let's start wailing away on his on his chest cavity. Attack the right part, you idiot! Okay. Shame on you. Shame on you, Funko. You idiot. You are dumb. You are dumb beyond recompense. Okay. I don't want to be hit by Exquie. I also don't want to be hit by this thing. 
Oh, I thought he was going to do a big tail sweep, but he didn't. Okay, I'm taking his dragon horn. I dodged a tail sweep. Nice. And now we're going to get Scarby up. Let's get our bow back out, and we'll start firing into his gooch. That is um, what Americans would call a taint. The gooch is uh, what we call here in New Zealand the part between the uh, scrotum and the anus. So uh, there you go. A little bit of little bit of trivia there for you. So just a, just a little bit though, not too much. Not too much trivia. We don't want to we don't want to overload everybody's brains with information. Okay, why are my arrows bending around where I'm supposed to be firing them? Okay, attack. Good. We're, we're at the right place. Stop hitting his arm, you ass hats. Okay, I'm attacking. I'm attacking. I'm attacking. I should probably actually get out of the range. What the hell? Scarby just ate the golden egg. Bad girl. Oh right, that was uh, death. Okay, sure. I'll use a wake stone. Scarby actually just ate the golden egg. One of the rarest items in the game. She just ate it, like flat out ate it. Oh no. Okay, I wasn't looking. Uh, if this kills us, I'm not going to use another wake stone shard. Okay, sorry, I'm all tangled up as well. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, why the hell are you not targeting the chest, you oaf? Oh my god. I have to rely on physical damage to damage him? What suck is this? This is such suck. This is such a suck. Okay, I'm gonna start firing into his chest again. You guys don't want to be caught in that, believe me. That is a big no no. Okay, good. I think I just kind of like knocked him asunder. Okay, good. Just like that. Alright. He did it. He did a yell, actually. It's kind of a shame that he doesn't have to charge that skill up ever. Because he can just spam it. Which he has been. He's literally just been spamming that one skill. I love the mobility of the Magic Archer. I think we're actually moving faster with the bow out than we were um, any other way. Why are you not targeting the... Oh my god. Target the chest! Bunko, you idiot! What are you doing? Okay. I know I'm not using many skills. Let's try the old six-fold bolt. Right here. Excellent. And we'll keep on spamming it into the chest because we don't really have a choice. All right. And that didn't work, so let's try to just fire these rounds in there. We only need to land one hit. Good. Okay, 38,000 experience. That's not bad, actually. I do quite like that. What is this? Great Dragon Agu Elua. Nice. Don't know what that does, but I suppose it's better to have than not. Okay, good. And ah, it did actually drop a bunch of these wake stones. Perfect. Let's just spam pick all of these up. And then we'll see exactly what we're working with. Okay, another Azure Dragon Scale. Great. I'm glad I got that. Excellent. Okay, so we could probably actually think about looting this room now. There is a chest way over here. Jax, you want to loot this this room here? No? How about you, Val? Literally the only person who was interested. Okay, it was just money anyway. Uh, we're at 300,000 buckery booze, which is pretty crazy. I don't think that vendor really had anything else that we would necessarily want for. There's a husk of juice over here. Good. Nice, we'll take that. And now, we're just going to keep on cleaning up the looting. It's really look like there's anything else in this room, though, to loot. Uh, we're really, really tired. Let's go ahead and just get our stamina back up. Actually... Wait, is there a chest on the other side of there? No shot. Oh, no, there's not. It's just a bunch of crates. Okay, we'll fill in the map over here, and then we'll try and use the uh, Eternal Fairy Stone. Because I feel like just walking back up to the top of this hole by jumping in the hole is actually kind of worthless. If we can kind of, like, actually use this. Oh, can we actually? Oh, beautiful! Okay, great. That's going to save us a bit of time. We probably want to sleep. Realistically, we probably want to sleep, which is going to refresh all of the monsters down there, to be quite honest. And we do want to do that, I think. Right, so let's come over here to Aslam. Aslam alaikum, my dude. Jesus, that guy is wearing a lot. Alright, now let's go ahead and deposit all of our crap. We don't need most of this stuff right here. And it's too heavy for us anyway. All of this stuff here as well we can get rid of. Oh, look at all this new stuff. Excellent. And get rid of all that. We also probably want to think about upgrading our gear, don't we? Beak of gold. What the hell? <laughs> I've never seen that. Okay, uh, Scarby's got a couple of things on her, but it probably doesn't matter too much that we put them all away, does it? 
Uh, Duck and gloves, they, they weren't amazing, were they? All right, so we want to rest until morning, and that should respawn all of the enemies down where we are. Beautiful. And we've also got the online mode turned off. We've got it turned off so that we can actually, like, see what we're doing. Unfortunately, we didn't get a single item dragon forged when we were actually doing that fight, which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, such is life sometimes. We'll come over here and we'll see if Caxton won't upgrade some of our gear. Hello, Caxton. Let's go ahead and enhance the Heralds. Okay, we've got a couple of things that we can use. We can level the bow flat out up to level two stars, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and just do that now. We need a center stone for the next level. I don't remember where we get those. I think it's from a lich. Bridget Finger, we could probably actually trade in the evil eyeball for this, but it might be a waste. Let's just level the stave up once. Should be fine. And we'll see about Scarby stuff. We've got a slick black pinion here. We've actually got a bunch of these. So we'll go ahead and do that, obviously. And we're going to probably get some... Oh, we don't have any glacial retrixes. Those are from Snow Harpies. How have we not picked up a single one of those? It's crazy. It's actually crazy. Uh, what about this? We could probably definitely upgrade that. Apparently it's getting heavier. What about this? Abyssinal outfit. That's pretty cool. Argentine sack. We don't have any of those. I think they dropped from Geosaurians. Dra Great Dragon Alua. We don't have any of that. Okay. Let's go ahead and just enhance all of these by a level. Rex Lion Padding. We'll do that as well. Done. Probably do with upgrading our stuff. No, it's Dragonforge. We don't want to do that. Dragonite Braces. We don't do We have Silk. A lot of dragon alluas required for this as well. Sorry, I know I'm slurring my words, but it's late in the day. Argents. Okay, we probably need that. Let's go ahead and upgrade all of these things. Hunk of War, we've got enough of those. Can definitely upgrade these iron bandings. Let's go ahead and upgrade this Worm Hunt Mantle. Yeah, these Enlistment Corps banners. So these drop from those soldiers that I was talking about right at the start of this episode. So do the Royal Banners. So uh, that's a good farm for them. Well, you literally don't have to do anything. You just set your pawns to kind of, like, pick everything up for you. The master works all. Come again. The master works all. You can't go wrong. Master works all. It's Hello there, friendo. Please. I see you're old at work on an errand, friend. Pray take all the time you need. <laughs> With literally the whole city crumbling behind him, Truly, he's like... Man, it's a marvellous... Even in these... I got... We got time. Okay, that was a lot of dialogue. Oh, sorry. Did I shove him in? No. Did I shove him in? No. Did I shove him in then? How about now? Uh, no. What about now? Mm, no, not quite. How about now? Oh, 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 watch out! No. Okay, nothing. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to shove them in. There is a board over here. There's no bills on it, though. What about over here? I seem to remember there was one over here as well. Ah, this is the Scrivener. So the Black Hat's moved here, which is great. I'm kind of bothered that Scarby ate the Golden Egg. Like, flat out, she did not have to do that. That was such a waste of a golden egg. <sighs> Scarby. What an oaf. What an actual oaf. Okay, we're... Oh, we can actually access our equipment and stuff like that. Yeah. So, how many wake stones have we got? We don't know. We just don't know. Let's go ahead and flop onto... I think there was one over here that was quite skinny. Yeah, this one. We definitely haven't been onto this one. What's this? Uh... Are these both the same person? I'd tell. Chamber of Lament. This does sound familiar. Maybe we have been here. Yeah, we've definitely been here. Oh, yeah, we've definitely been here. Okay, let's try for the Ur Dragon. Just uh, one more time, because I am running short on time, and I'm going to have to leave the stream pretty soon. We'll try for the Ur Dragon. And if we can't get him, so be it. That's fine. Okay, let's try for the bow. This guy is aggroed on us. I two shot him. That's pretty crazy. Aelwen just got two shot as well. What about this dickhead? Ellie just got two shot. Well, sucks to be her. Strength in numbers are risen. What did they drop? I know they dropped something. Coin pouches. That's it. Okay. So if we go up here, her dragon should spawn, right? Maybe? I remember him coming from that giant hole in the sky. Oh, here we go. I knew. All right, where is he? Is he coming from over here? Yeah, there he is. Okay. What a cool shot, by the way. You got a photo of the entire party right here. And also the Ur Dragon coming down to uh, slaughter us. Slaughter us yucky babies. 
Uh, let's also go into our inventory and check out... Oh, that's map. How many of these stones we have? Where the hell was our inventory? I don't remember. I don't... <laughs> wow. I actually had a brain fart. Alright, good. Ur dragon is here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, okay, so this is the offline Ur dragon, which is fantastic. So we can actually do quite a bit of damage to this guy. Jax has already done um, a little sliver of damage. We'll try for a good few attacks. I'm going to loot right here. Rusted daggers? Yuck. Gross. Okay, there is a gigantic pustule up on his tail, which is exactly what we were looking for in the first place. On the online Ur dragon, we didn't get to see that, did we? Okay, I'm gonna fire at his face. Why the hell not? Now I'm gonna fire at his penis. All right, he's blowing us all away, which is actually really annoying. If we were a knight, that probably would have cost us the fight. But we aren't a knight whatsoever. Okay. Really? Because we're doing damage. Okay, let's... I don't know. Okay, he's attacking us now. We don't want this. We, we, we know want. We want sixfold. Oh, piss off. Game. It keeps on that thing where it minimizes itself. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Seriously? Why does why is this even a thing? This game is like 13 years old. Surely they patched this, right? Cease! Cease this crap! What the hell are you doing? Okay. I'm opening taskbar. Task manager. Yeah, it's not responding. Okay, so that's really weird. It, like, semi-crashes, and then you get to play the game. Okay, he's definitely after me. I think. I think he's after me, guys. Oh, you, no, screw this. Whoa, that was close. He's much bigger than we are as well. So... Kind of have to be a little bit cautious about him. All right, let's go ahead and fire a six-fold bolt at his head. Or at this pustule right here. Boom! I don't think that did anything, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll try on his head, see what happens. It's okay, I suppose. Okay, fire right into his head. It hit a bunch of his bits and bobs. Yes! Hit the offensive, guys! Go! Okay, he's after me, and there's a pustule right on his arm that I saw. Okay, good thing I moved. Because if I didn't, we would be dead! Okay, I'm going under. Piss off. Like, actually piss off, my dude. No war- literally zero warning. Oh, Val, are you not healing me? Did you decide against it or something? Uh, that's going to be a nuke. Uh, hopefully she pops that heal before he uh, sets it off. Okay. Uh, doesn't really look like we're in a very good spot, to be honest. Does it? Okay, Scarbia's dead. We're definitely going to have to get her up. And... We have almost got uh, one of his HP bars down, which is pretty impressive. Okay, let's get Scarby back up. Just increase our DPS a little bit. All right, he's got an ankle exposed just over here. Jax is already wailing on it. All right, uh, that's going to be maybe death. That is death. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to use another uh, another stone. We'll try and kill him as soon as we fire up the next stream. So, I am going to shoot off. Let's not save. Let's not save. <laughs> Simply because we saved in the doorway anyway. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you would really, really enjoy. And, of course, down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord. So, you can talk to me and my community personally. Even if you quit YouTube, like, unfortunately, I heard another YouTuber did earlier today. And until the next episode that you catch, or the next stream that you are present for, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!